live streaming as it's available right now. Huh? Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> from a nap five minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> but i had done some prep so all right i hope you're all fine we're continuing quest for the frozen flame our party is scouting lost mammoth valley so that the and may have found a temporary place for the following to to, to uh stay in a camp of ex crusaders um you guys went out and hunted some things out the the crusaders uh, that that were, that were hemming them in uh, these drakes, I believe. And then you sent a message. Am I right? Yeah, dream oh. message. Oh yeah. Is that one way? One way communication. It's one way communication. Yeah. All right. And did you travel anywhere? It looks like you went back to the camp. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I that... think we, we had stopped back at the camp and then the we were preparing the, uh, to go back. figure out what we were doing today instead of last week. We were preparing to go after the undead, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and they said that there were some undead to the northeast. Yeah. Do we want to wait for the following to get here to do that? I mean, because it's going to take several days for them to get here, I would imagine. Yeah, I, yeah. I think we're just planning on going on and taking care of that. Yeah, well, yeah, I, don't, I imagine I don't know we'll meet we back up with them. them at some point. Because unless we were going to go out and, like, escort them, it doesn't really matter if we're here or not when they get here. Oh, no. Oh, Yeah, sorry. and probably better I mean, to make sure there's no it, dangers anywhere around us before they get here. I mean, it might be good for us to be here when the following gets here, just for introductions and stuff. Yeah, but I think we have enough time to leave and then come back. And then maybe wait after that. When okay. traveling a hex before, I believe um, a larger group is slower. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna take them a while to get it's down. It's gonna take here. them, yeah, a lot longer. Hmm. Let's say we take them twice as long as you would. That sounds, yeah, that sounds fair. That sounds about right. They would be foraging and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um, I think at some point, uh, you know, before we do anything else, uh, uh, Atharic, do you know uh, what? you were doing while we were out and about if not no big deal but in, in any case i want to basically uh have a just quick chat with you and i would be passing off the um verdant staff that we got from the dryad uh to you and you know basically just tell you that about you know how you know we, get, we, we met this dryad and i think that this staff will, will be better with you um and yeah i that's a good question i don't know what my character would have been doing other than not i don't know what he would have been doing yeah i feel like with that um you were in the background i think we needed you to speak to someone who yeah i was just yeah. failing all my spells <laughs> yeah i was just failing all my spells and well, in that case, you would have known about, you know, I had a, a talk with uh, that dryad and she yeah. uh, granted us a, a, a staff. But after after, you know, kind of analyzing it and seeing uh, what I could do with it, I, I realized quite quickly that this would be something that's going to be better off with you. It's a nature uh, staff. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you could try growing some plants instead of just kind of setting them on fire. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a possibility. That's uh, is it in the stash or I put it in the stash or I think I can give it to you actually. Uh, no, I, I, I can't. 
I can pull it over. Cool. Tangled on a runic body, runic weapon, tangling flora, oaken resistance, one with plants, shape wood. I'm sure I could figure something, some sort of use for this. Yes, I think I do better if I know I can just stay with keeping everybody on their feet. Our group got a heap of monster parts and crafted new snazzy armor. Yeah. Yeah. I have I have plus one plate armor now. Uh, so got, got an AC of 24. 26 with your shield raised. 26 with my shield raised. Yeah, so tricky, tricky to hit. Mm -hmm. I think Ernest and they both have plus one leather armor now. Well, my armor isn't leather, it's plant, but... <laughs> it's part part drake skin, part plant, if I recall. Yeah. Did you any cool names for your armor? <laughs> for my armor? No. I didn't think about it. I don't know if my character's very... Uh, I don't think he's very creative with naming okay. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing would be as good as the Hokey Pokey. Thank you very much. <laughs> You were asking me something about uh, monster parts, and I wasn't. Oh sure yeah, was you know, I uh, I'll probably delay that because I'm. It's rather expensive. It is just something that I wanted to um, have, it just in the back pocket again, essentially for uh, uh, later. <laughs> okay. But um, yeah, probably next thing I'm gonna be upgrading will be my perception item, but. Uh, and yeah, I figure out the math on that. I think it's about 80 for me to get like once a day, one hour low light vision, and then later I can upgrade it more and get just permanent low light vision. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they tell you that they're uh, they're dealing with some uh, necromancers to the northeast near um, near a river. And they've been having a back and forth with uh, a group of necromancers based in the tower. The tower is some ways farther, but uh, apparently they patrol out and control the surrounding region. Yeah, yeah, we, we've seen the tower from a distance. Valley, but they, they have been uh, what's the word? Holding up in their camp. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go kill some undead again. Make sure they stay dead this time. All right. Any uh, so we head out now. So yeah. this is a new day, right? Yeah. Mm, I don't yeah. think. Can so. someone? Can someone? Yeah, everyone can. Can someone roll? Rest. Yeah, can someone roll a d6 for me so I can see which element I'm attuned on my uh, gate attenuator to today. <laughs> is it random? Gotcha. Oh, is it random? Well, it's not random. I'm, I'm just doing it that Three. way because I don't know which one I want. Three. Okay. Three. Fire. Okay. okay. Although, wait, if we're... I will say... No, because we'll have time to before we get there. But I will say that if we're fighting undead, we might want access Wood. to, like, vitality. Right, I don't think the wood spell is vitality. I think it's it, it makes plants bloom and does healing to allies. Maybe it does vitality Doesn't damage. Do I vitality don't damage? Am I not? Am I crazy? I do. Well, I do vitality yeah, damage with special, my own little black. The the special once a day spell he gets from this item. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything. I just thought I had. It, I'm, I'm. Yeah, misremembered that. All right. Cool. Yeah, my, my Elemental Blast can do Vitality damage without any special stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. Adventure Northeast. Do, 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 do. That's, uh, well, one and one third day. And uh, some people um, from the camp came with you to help you uh, 
find uh, where the fights are, you, you do see some corpses and some undead. Um, they uh, that were the corpses of the ex crusaders were properly buried. Um, on the second day, you find a battlefield that marks the border between the forest and the plains beyond that is distinguished by churned soil, bloodstained flora, and a foul stench, and an unidentifiable sense of doom. There is a... Uh, you meet up with... Uh, you see in the distance a, a soldier uh, with accompanied by a few, but he's the commander. He is fighting... Uh, they are fighting several skeletons, and the, the people who escorted you say, that's Bodil! He's the son of our commander. Hmm. Well, let's, let's help out. Yeah. And uh, he sees you, and he welcomes you, and it looks like it's... Uh, uh, there's like a dozen skeletons here. Things that are you've handled well uh, are actually not much of a challenge to you, to your season group. And uh, you basically are uh, turning the tide. They, uh, they were kind of evenly matched, but well, Bodil had the upper hand, but uh, starting to uh, th th these skeletons have no sense of uh, self-preservation they're just throwing themselves against you um however at this time uh you hear a well everybody make a perception roll just a normal we can do an open mic. I'm dialed in. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you hear a spell being cast. Wow, this was a very crappy roll they had. <laughs> um, from uh, somebody who's standing next to a giant skeletal, looks like a skeleton of an animal. Oh. <clears throat> And it looks like it's siding with the, the other skeletons at this time. Um, and I think we need to roll initiative already. Ooh, cool. Uh, can I switch places with Ernest? That's where I would yeah. want sure. to be. Yeah, that would be typical of... I'm in my game. What's up? <laughs> you can ignore the skeletons, by the way, since they're. <laughs> it's something I can all, probably always crit on if I hit it with my mace. If you want to have fun, you can. Go ahead and... <laughs> wow, I rolled two. Know. I've rolled two natural twenties on a perception roll and uh, initiative. Wow. So I'm glad that we're getting the good look out of the way now. <laughs> And did someone roll for low series initiative? Gotcha. Uh, what stupid thing roll my freaking initiative? I'll say wherever oh, that, not... that was diplomacy. That sh that was from the last time I was on. Um, oh yeah, but you just changed the modifier, right? Or yeah, uh, it should what is be your perception. It should be nineteen. Plus 19 or total 19? No, total 19. Plus 19 would be wild. Okay, let me um, change things. And does someone at this party scout? Hmm. Okay. All right, Malachi. So wherever there's not um, just a clear grass area or dirt area, Let's just say it's difficult terrain. Okay. So like this, uh, this sort of ridge, these guys are kind of up on a ridge that would be difficult terrain sure, to yeah. move on to, to get up there. 
Um, are we? So you said we're not worried about the skeletons, or? Yeah, they. Uh, the soldiers seem to be handling them. Okay. Um, in that case. Um, I think I will. Um, I'll just delay. I don't. I, I would. I think it would take me all three movements to get near them, or at least. Mm -hmm. I'll. I'll just delay and see if they come towards us. Get a little closer. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm learning some things as we speak. Okay, this would have been cast already. Uh, speaking of that, Ooh. I have um, some things that would be cast already. Oh yeah, you always have mage armor up, right? Yeah. Or whatever it's called, I forget what it's called now. Mystic armor, there it is. Hmm. Well, I think there's, it's time for more defenses. <laughs> there's now images of, of the guy. Oh, I think it's animated off. too. Cool. Oh, that is neat. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's actually... It's a female spellcaster. Ernest is next. Um, Ernest is going to move to here to get a little closer. Uh, and because the... And because the big oh, ammo thing... It's a skeleton. It's a zombie. Why okay, so is okay. so technically I didn't just pick up my my bow from the ground because it was in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's <laughs> left over from when I was unconscious at the end of the break encounter. Um, and uh, it should be off guard to me because I am acting before it. The the big thing. Yes, the big thing. Okay. And so, uh, and <laughs> yay! That's what matters. All right, let's damage it. Okay, for um, ten sweet damage. Mhm. Mm and uh. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and fire another one of it. Wow. <laughs> okay, then. All right. 15. Oof. All right, one in each eye. <laughs> right, it's a giant... Uh, a giant deer with massive antlers. Isla's next. Wait, were you done? Yeah, 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 that was okay. three actions. I moved, fired off two arrows. Okay. I... Okay. Um. Let's see here. Well, I think I'm gonna step right there and then cast. This. Mm. Protection for everyone! Yay! Okay, that's... and you moved? Yeah, I moved. Okay. Ethelric. Well, they are very conveniently located next to each other and far the way, far away from the, uh, the party. I think it's a good time for a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Blood them. Oh. Oof. As a, uh, Crit success on the. Does a sideways twirling foot. Um, the, the zombie uh, deer does fail though. And takes more damage. 
Okay, what else? That would be two actions for my third action. I am going to cast glass sheet. Yeah, I'll cast glass shield. That's uh, yourself? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, big zombie beast is charging forward. Gonna run towards Ernest. Yay! And we'll try to gore him on his antlers. Wait, or the hoof. I do have nimble dodge turned on. Okay, hoof strike. Oh. Oof. Okay, if that's that, low sir. Low sir. Oh, can I can I hop back in the initiative order now that it's now next to us? Okay. All right then. This is what I wanted because now I don't have to waste my moves. I have to get spend one move, but so I'll uh I I'll just step. I guess I don't need to stride. Just in case it has an opportunity attack. I don't think it would. No, no, zombies don't have reactions, but either way. Um, I'll move there. I will um, I will attempt to activate my Dread Marshal stance. Mm -hmm. Make that intimidation check. Okay, success. Nice. Haven't failed it yet. Uh, let me do that for myself. Sorry. that success and then i will uh take a strike at the large zombie mm -hmm. creature in front of me oh dear well okay Matt. yeah it, it is a deer <laughs> <laughs> nice is that another i've rolled I've rolled three natural 20s yeah. so far. You're on fire right now. The, the, well, the no, dice you... love me to Are you see how much this. Okay. No. That was relatively low roll for you. Um, and that's the stance. Okay. And it takes 10 yeah. extra damage from you. Nice. As you slice it like butter. And if it had a mind, it would be frightened, but. Nah. <laughs> oh, you, uh, that's now Lucier. All right, so how far away am I from the big thing? <clears throat> 15 feet with uh, allies in the middle. Fifteen feet. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Uh, I will go ahead and move over to it, so I can do a two-action vitality elemental blast on it. Okay. Melee um, elemental blast. I mean, two-action melee. What? I'm asking who should move him. Should it be me or someone else? Oh. Yeah. Um, can't try it. Actually, instead of, instead of doing a two action one, I'll do a one action so I can put up my uh, my hardwood armor. Oh, okay. Um, I forget how we do we manually. Okay. I think I think we just have to manually go in and set my armor to hardwood. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. And then someone else, uh, did someone else say they would move him? Question is, I don't think he could move right here because <laughs> that looks like a big rock. Oh, a so rock. maybe, maybe here. I guess he could go. He, yeah, there. Mm, yeah, maybe over here. Yeah. Through Ernest. Okay. For the rock a little bit. I put you not right next to all the skeletons, although I'm sure that won't really matter. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay. Here comes Vitality. Do you know how to do the blast? Uh, no, sorry. Um, let me see. They're all under the strikes. And oh, okay. Strikes. Yeah, here we go. Just one Elemental well, you know Blast what? Melee. I'm not sure it... Um, I think Weapon Infusion is... I don't have Weapon Infusion, so... Oh. It, it says Elemental Blast Wood, and that's all it says. Uh, I think I got oh, it. There's a toggle for Vitality. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's a miss. Total 19 is going to miss, unfortunately. Okay. Miss it. Okay. All right, the Necromancer. Is oh, wait, he targeted Ethelric. Why am I targeting no. Ethelric? Sorry, not. Ethelric. <laughs> 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 no, that's because my targeting is all jacked. Oh, okay, here. That's yeah. okay. It was Sorry vitality damage anyway. I'm the only one in the party that can take that. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. All right, the Necromancer moves forward. And she's going to cast. Actually, no. She's going to go here. One, two, three, four, five. And cast Lightning Bolt through some of the party members. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I placed it. It Does it not hit the zombie also, or...? No, not nope. the way I wanted to place it. Wow. Well, okay, that's not where I wanted to place it. It just... Bleh. Okay, <laughs> make reflex saves. 23 Ooh, electricity don't... damage. Who, who all were you intending to hit with that? Um, Ernest, Losir, and Isla. I... Okay. I'm going to hero point that, because... Because that's stupid. What oh. the? Even a twenty-two is a failure. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I think. Oh, I'm rolling really low. Be the or no, maybe not. All right, you fail, right. but the others succeed. Do I have protection? What? Uh, rogues were supposed to be good at dodging things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah you're having no, the same I, experience I, as me with my four to two saves last week. I actually think that my best save. Yeah, my. No, actually, reflex is equal with my will save, so. Well, you were specked out not as a dodgy rogue, but a. Yeah, I, I have a I have a plus three to dexterity right now, so. He's a smart rogue. Yes. Next is I... Ernest. Uh, okay. Oh, I, uh, sorry, I haven't taken damage yet. Let me do that. Yeah, I don't think anybody has yet. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh, but I. I took one less. <laughs> yes. How, how much damage did we take? 22. Altogether, I took 22 damage. The others are going to take 11. 11, okay. I am going to... That was a low damage roll, actually, for that. I'm going to take a step back. Uh... Whoa. Or, um... Give yourself... Four more health, Ernest. For, for some reason, it applied the elite templates to their spell. That's not right. Oh, did someone? Uh, okay, there. So let's see the other should have taken half, which was nine. Okay, so I get two back. Nice. Okay, uh, I am going to recall knowledge on the fascinating lard. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> um, Bad. Hold on. DC number. Um, checking. Checking. Not a success, but you know it's a zombie. It okay. has zombie like qualities. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that one. Poor rolls. Oh my I'm done. Uh, Isla. Okay. Um. 
Let's do Red Lance on this guy. I will also point out that since I am standing next to this zombie thing, it is currently vulnerable to fire or weak to fire because of my aura. Oh, interesting. Mm, interesting. Also, Ethelric okay. might be able to make some use is of that. Is that true of allies too? Uh, unfortunately, yes, but I don't okay. say that out loud, but my allies would know that. Okay. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna step right here and then uh castle make sure it's targeted it is. I'm gonna give you a reddish aura. Cool. That's Hit it with it. the spirit all <laughs> spirit lance. I would need to double check that it might only be enemies, but mm -hmm. I think it just said creatures. I'll have to pull up my other phone and look. Okay, this is holy spirit damage and not vitality, am I right? Uh, that's correct. Okay, all right, it does full damage. Okay. That'll be my turn. Okay. Next is Ethelric. It is. Let's see here. This thing is not great. So if I went here and did this spell, let's place where can I place that? We want to shift. Ooh. Yeah. If I did that, it would hit three, two skeletons and the, the, uh, zombie thing, and it would heal, well, it healed heal Losir, uh, Mr. Malachi is at full hit points. So, we're moving there and casting Rejuvenating Flames. Yeah, Losir is 20 feet away from you. Oh, yeah. then, yeah, it'll, it'll just do damage to, uh, the skeletons and the... Can't you... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, great. So, big zombie tries to dodge, fails. Uh oh, and has a weakness. Take... Yeah, it has weakness now. It's gonna get burnt up. Okay, nine fire damage, and I'm trying to find out the weakness value here. I'm getting it. I think it's half my level. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. I don't okay. So you double down on fire? Or wait. My notes don't show this, but did you already had wood and fire at level one, right? Yes. Okay. And so I I expanded the portal to fire. Yeah. Okay. And I took so, living bonfire for my impulse, and then the aura junction for the uh, the fire aura junction for the junction. All right. I uh, I'm gonna give it weakness three. Okay. Eight junctions by element. Aura. Weakness is equal to half your level. Yep. Enemies only applies to enemies. It is enemies. Okay. Not and been too. Does that hit? That hits the skeletons, correct? Yes. Oh yeah, they should save too. Let's see what happens to low-level creatures. Oh. <laughs> one succeeds. One very much fails. Yeah. However, they don't. They have resistance fire five. Um. Hmm. Which means the critical failure one's only going to take thirteen. Okay, this one takes only four. And it's not within the aura, so this resists all. The one that is in the critical, uh, that critically fails, it explodes. Oh. <laughs> okay, excellent. And that is my turn. All right. Um, did Malachi hit this thing? Yeah, I did. I um, did. I, I hit it pretty bad. 
I didn't All like right, it. Here comes Antler against Losir. That hits Losir for eleven. I'm gonna apply it, and then it's gonna uh, okay. gonna hit. Try to hit Malachi with the hoof. And that misses. Right. Nice. All right, it's almost destroyed at this point. It's just the tattering of uh, bones, Malachi. Yeah, all right. We'll see if I can't uh, finish this thing off. I'll just take a strike at it. That hits. This has to. I mean, with this weakness, this just has to kill, right, mm -hmm. I think? All right, you slice his head off. Very good. Nice. All right, yeah. And then I will take... Uh, I'll take my last two actions to just... Can I get with 40 feet? Can I get to uh, like adjacent to this necromancer? Probably. Even with the difficult terrain? Yep. Okay. I can just like get right here about. Um, so yeah, so I like, clamber up the, the ridge here, take a little bit of time to do that, and then get next to this necromancer with my last two actions, just so that if they start trying to cast spells and stuff, I have a uh, reactive strike against them, hopefully. Okay. Is there room up there where I can flank with the Necromancer with uh, Malachi? Yeah, probably with two actions. Two actions to get up there? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Um, you can make it there. I'll say that now. Okay. And then I will do a one action uh, fire elemental melee blast on him. there okay you said fire blast yeah one action uh melee that is a hit for nine fire damage however um roll i will roll a d4 to see if you hit an image and you hit an image Okay. The animation reduces the number of, uh, I think it does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's cool. cool. That's really neat. I thought it did. I don't know if it is. <laughs> Still okay. looks like pentagons to me, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it did. You know, there's a really cool, um, oh, I got to show this. <laughs> oh, I don't remember its name. Um... Uh, never mind. Uh, there's a co really cool Hydra token uh, from an adventure path, that, and every time you reduce the number of heads on it, the picture actually changes. Oh, oh really? Wow, that yeah, is really cool. Sh show it off. Okay, uh, the Necromancer is going to stride. Any reaction? Yeah, I'm gonna hit him. Okay. <laughs> hit her. Now would be a good time for her. Ah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, if I roll three or higher on this D6, it is an image. It is an image. Okay. okay. So it has one, well, one image left. It's going to move up here and cast a spell for sheep. Oh, crap. It's a three action spell. Oh, well. Never mind. Um, <laughs> funny. Um, in that case, I think it will go here. She will go here and cast Grim Tendrils. Oh. A fortitude save. Yep, make fortitude save. Someone roll for Lucier. Okay, Malachi yes. succeeds. Um, sorry, hold on. I think okay, good. There you go. Ah, and, it's another another persistent bleed effect, which is annoying. They both okay. succeed and take yeah, half my... void damage. All right, that's 13. fine. Oh, okay. I just don't want the bleed damage. Yeah, you don't get the bleed damage if you succeed. That's all really? I care about. <laughs> Ernest. We had issues with that in the last right. one. <laughs> 
Uh, so that's difficult terrain. Uh, there. Wait. Where's the difficult terrain? Uh, one doesn't look like it's uh, open terrain. Wherever there's a plant or shrub. Okay. Or like a or like a ridge. Yes. Yeah. So I can get to there with a single move because I do have thirty foot movement speed. Oh, does this difficult terrain affect me? No, it doesn't affect you. Haha, -ha, <laughs> so I will move to there then. Ah. And then um I will recall knowledge on the necromancer. I assume that's society. Her name is Amy. Succeed. <laughs> She's off guard. All right. Um, and uh, how many of how many of her highest level spells would she have? Uh, wait, would, would be my question? question. My question is how many of her highest level of spells is she able to cast? Um. Hmm. Uh, in a day or right now? In a day. Okay. Uh, three. Three. Okay. Good to know. So there could potentially be another one like that. All right. And then I will attack. That is a hit. Another. Man, the plus ones have really been mattering for Yeah, you've been, you've been scraping by with just... Uh, I mean, not scraping by, you've been hitting, but... You've been skating through. <laughs> there, extra 20. damage. Dreadful. Okay, 20. Oh, wait, hold on. Big I forgot hit. to do the roll to see if you hit an image. Oh, yeah. She's got to roll a two or... Okay, you hit an image. <sighs> All right, that's the last image, though. That's one way to get through all of those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isla. That way she can cast it on herself again. Okay. Um. Sorry, guys. Hold on just a moment. Okay. Come answer. It's out there. Hmm. I think I'm going to just... Let me see. Try to get try to get up with everybody else here. Can I get to there? Let me see. One. Probably take two actions. Cause yeah, that, I think that's two actions to get there. That's okay. I think it's worth it for now. Um. Yeah, let's let's just go right here, and I'll cast a. You can cast Guidance on Lois here, actually. Oh, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay, Ethelric. Yeah, I seem to be pretty far away. <laughs> So I'm going to move there. What is that? <laughs> oh, is that the Hydra? That's I'm not, we're not fighting that. With, uh, nah, the, no. the, the, the generic Hydra doesn't do it. It's from the- Oh, you scared me for a second. Yeah. No, I'm just- <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly a Hydra appears. <laughs> no! Hydras are OP for their level, by the way. Oh yeah, they are. I had a live so, TPK on my stream. So. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to move there for my first action. My second action, I'm going to try to hit that skeleton guard with... I have my... Why is my weapon? Okay. I had my weapon in my hand because that's what we assume. And I'm going to make a strike because I want to feel like... Oh, I want to hit... And then I get a critical hit on that, really. Okay. Well. <laughs> on a skeleton. All right. Smash is destroyed. 
And then for my last action, I'm going to move. And we'll move there. And that'll be, yeah. Okay, Malachi. Okay. All right. I wanted to roll a critical success, but I didn't want to waste the 20 to do it. It's probably going to take me another two actions to get next to this necromancer with, it looks like there's like some difficult terrain and stuff. And also it's just kind of, I think she's also, yeah, she's also just more than 20 feet away. So would, regardless, you five feet, that's all. Uh, but yeah, it, but even, even like without, uh, if, even if there wasn't any difficult terrain, it's 25 feet away. So I definitely would have to use oh, two yeah, actions. Mm -hmm. Um, so I will take two of my actions to stride up to her. And this time, now that all her mirror images are gone, I will like critically miss or something. But I'll try yeah, to hit her. Oh wait, her shield is <laughs> down. So this is actually a critical hit. Oh. <laughs> 29. And she is, um, you have an ax, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. so that, I don't think that has an effect. But she is frightened if she's capable of being frightened. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, you made an impression. It was here. <laughs> um, all right, so how far away are she and Malachi from me? Like 10 feet, not even that far. 10 feet, okay. Um, then I'll go ahead and move back over to her to flank with Malachi. Hmm. I think we're hitting a mountainous terrain here. I don't think. Yeah, she's kind of like backed up against maybe a wall or something, running out of space on the map. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. Then. Uh, just get me, <clears throat> I guess, get me next to her then. <clears throat> next to, like, where I'm between, where I'm next. Actually, um, so Malachi is in melee with her, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Is there any space around her at all? Yeah, you could kind of go, like, I'd, I'd if like you go right go. next to Malachi, you yeah, can I'm, hit her, yeah, or you can go I'm, kind I'm of not corner I'm, to Malachi. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hem her in with a timber sentinel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That does a block movement. It it doesn't, but if she decides to do any physical attacks on Malachi, it'll it'll stop some of it. I'd be um, surprised if she could hit me with. I can. Uh, I'll place it, but where would it go? Uh, just somewhere so it's next to Malachi at least. Okay. Um. um I think maybe put it, because you could kind of put it uh, to the north of her, maybe, and that would potentially slow down. But or you no, could it put doesn't, it, it doesn't block any movement or anything. It doesn't block movement, right? Yeah. So it wouldn't matter. Yeah. Okay. You can move through. It. Um, and then for my last action, I will raise my shield that I completely forgot that I got with my hardwood armor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Necromancer is going to cast a spell on Malachi. However, it is a manipulate crit. Okay, then I will try to hit her while she does it. Yep. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm unstoppable right. today. What's up with this? And that also disrupts <laughs> the spell. Woo! That's no spell crazy. for you. Another 29. All right, I think she's had it. Um, she's going to try to... Okay, give yourself a hero point, Malachi. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, and she loses the spell, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Spell. I think all she can do is just try to flee. That's um, right. Run away. Ernest? Oh, wait. What is this? She's like... Is she... There's like terrain that way. Yeah, where can she go? Um, she's gonna go here. <laughs> uh, 
Oh wow, she's kind of so screwed. <laughs> <laughs> back, you're back yourself into a bit of a corner. Yeah. Okay, I'm I am going to uh, recall knowledge again. This time, I want to know if she's a spontaneous or prepared caster. Ah, you critically succeed this time. She is a prepared caster. Okay. Uh, another question. I'll uh, share that she is a uh, arcane caster. Okay, arcane. And you see the um, she's wearing a symbol of um, a white dragon around her neck. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> there we go. No, is she is she ready to die? <laughs> no. She, she's she's gonna make wow. peace with it soon. I'm sure. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those dice. What is that average? Four times seven, twenty-eight. Yep, thirty-one damage. All right, your arrow pierces her throat, um, and she grasps it and falls back, dead. Bodil cheers you on and says, "Yeah." <laughs> Hacking the last skeleton, <laughs> and the other uh, ex crusaders are, are uh, while well, the new ones uh, come up to you, and well, actually are running up to the people they recognize and say, "Who are they? Who are these people?" And Bodil extends a hand and thanks you for uh, defending him. He, he didn't notice that necromancer. Yep, yeah, first it's our uh, our pleasure anytime that necromancy and fiends and that like need to be put down will be there mm -hmm. he's a yeah. dwarf you see a family resemblance to the commander when when they when they ask who are these people i'll, I'll turn around right after having shot an arrow through this woman's neck and said i'm a dead teacher <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> And they ask the same question. Who are these people? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> my, my dead college professor is helping me kill my necromancers. <laughs> yes, they yeah. say... We, uh, they they kind of look at you curiously. They're used to being superstitious about the undead. How did you become what you are? Oh, unfinished business. Does anyone who is meant to move on and doesn't that's the nature of ghosts says bodo they have unfinished business they're not necessarily <laughs> evil don't mm -hmm. act on stereotypes hmm. <laughs> he uh tries to slap you on the back but realizes he can't make contact <laughs> i'm not the first person to make that error why is everyone it's like you can see a bit through me Yes, yes, but you're able to uh, affect the physical world. It's confusing. Mm. It's also a ha old habits die hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretty much nothing about any of this makes any sense, so... Yeah, they report to you that they've encountered patrols. This was the latest they've encountered. They do are pretty confident they've cleared this area. They were hunting down... They were hunted by one group that they were able to ambush the ambush. And then they, they encountered this group. Uh, they thought this was just a group of some random skeletons. And they've been hunting this uh, necromancer as well. And they just discovered now that the necromancer was waiting, lying in wait also. Good thing you arrived, he says. Of course, we're uh, we're happy to help. We, you know, we're uh, we're on the same side as you. We're trying to put an end to the necromancy here in the valley. Well, after oh, also, the other days... Ronald, did you ever have a chance to tally up the XP we got last session? Sorry to interrupt. I think I added it to your characters. You did not because yeah, I don't I, think so. Yeah, I I might being at five twenty in my uh, in my phone uh, on this builder. Okay, well, it would be... Let me, let me go get my note here. Does anybody know how to search for summoning, summoned creatures in Path or in Foundry? No idea. There is... You can just use the, uh, 
compendium or whatever, the control space, and then type it in. Is that it? Control space. Control space. Getting close. Closer and closer to level six. Yeah. Other people vouch that you were not given XP last session? I, yeah, I can I remember where we were. I'm pretty sure we yeah, were, we were at yeah, just over 500. Last session. All right. Yeah. 180 last session. Okay. Okay. All right. Close. Bodil says he's, he'll, be, um, he'll be patrolling this area for another couple days. Um, he asks where you're headed. Uh, I believe we're uh, headed up to that there tower. The tower has eyes widened. You're gonna take them on? Well, we need to get further in, and and if that's the bastion of the necromancers here, and they're going to be fighting us, then it makes sense to take out their headquarters. One of your escorts yep. says, I have faith in them. They took down two flying dragons. I saw it with my Drakes. eyes. Drakes, lesser dragons, but... Oh, and we almost died. <laughs> See? They're downplaying their talents. And they're telling you that they can take on the tower. I have faith in these people. Uh, we'll see if we can take on the tower. We, we might end up running away. Tails tucked between our legs. Is there, uh, is there anything you might know about the, the tower that could help us in our assault? Well, we'll have to go back to ask our commander, but uh, I believe we were in a... Uh, trying to secure our camp. Uh, so we may be preoccupied with that for a while. And also adjusting to uh, the escort reminds you, adjusting to the new uh, arrivals. Yes. Yeah. I guess I would... Uh, what was the name of... Uh, sorry, Bodo, Bodo. Um, yeah, I'd ask him uh, if he's... Uh, bas how, when was the last time that he ran into some undead and like how close by was it? Is he basically just kind of on permanent patrol around here? Or like, what's the deal? Yes, with this is our tour. We're here for another uh, two days. We've been here for the last two weeks. T took mm -hmm. down that last group five days ago. Okay. Kind of running uh, battles every couple days before then. Looks like we uh, hopefully have uh, staked out some land. <laughs> but once you leave the cover of the trees and enter the field, it becomes more of a risky proposition we, we're not able to hide and uh, they have mages they can seek us and... out in fact a large group would probably give them a uh, warning and they might okay. hunker down okay so you're saying that our uh, our group of five here is, might be the best bet in taking well, care of this? Well, honestly, I don't know what my father has planned. But that's what my... Uh, I've seen those mages. I saw one of them uh, teleport as well. So being out in the open doesn't seem like a very... They seem like they have some advantages. I don't know. A full frontal assault just sounds... We were just... Uh, we're still getting used to having some land at all. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I'm holding suggestions. Isla might actually kind of want to just stick around here for the last couple days with uh, Bodol and hey, if we can help him clear out some more of these. And a low-level undead and, and get a spot more secure. Could be good. I don't know. We need, does anybody else uh, 
have thoughts on that? Can we count that as reconnaissance of the hex? You can. Mm. And probably, um, yeah, it would. Is that what you want to do? Sure. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine. Fine by me. Okay. And because of your spell, I'll give you, uh, it'll cost you one less day. Okay. Huh. You do find another patrol. This is a group of zombies. You see that most of them actually are, seem to be former ex-crusaders. Some of them have some, uh, of the insignias. Bodo wants to, thanks, wants to thank you for helping him out. He has a few, uh, items that used to belong to people who used to be part of his company. He has a, a magical scroll here of acid grip and a potion of invisibility. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, no. I'll hang on to that scroll. I, I assume we also get monster parts from the gigantic thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. The big Undead moose. I don't think it was a moose. Was it a moose? It had antlers. Is it like a mega Yeah, it was like some kind of like megafauna from. Yeah. Well, moose is a megafauna. That's fun true, fact. Yeah. Moose is the only last is the last remaining non-extinct megafauna, I believe, in the world. What's so. Megafauna? What's the definition? Oh, it's just big. Uh, really big. Yeah, like the big animals that lived in like the Ice Age and stuff. So like yes. woolly mammoths would have been. Yeah, Sorry. woolly mammoths would be uh, giant sloths that roamed all through the cent, you know, America oh, yeah, basically, and then were hunted yeah. to extinction as soon as humans got through. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I only re recently realized how big moose were. I saw a video on YouTube. Oh yeah, they're, yeah, they're so massive. huge. They're wild. They're terrifying. Big. And don't go in the water thinking that you can you can outswim them. They they swim. Oh yeah, and they they run fast they too. They are not slow also, dudes. They can also learn to open locks with their nose. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're like velociraptors. <laughs> yep. What? Are you making this up? <laughs> it's not like they can evolve this ability. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't want. They're smart. I mean, they're mammals. What are you gonna do? I don't. I don't think that that undead one we just killed was smart, though. Well, no, yeah. it died. If it was smart, mindless, it would die. Mindless creature. <laughs> there was a zombie patrol going through here. What's up with? Do we need to do anything about that? Um. Can we just handle no, it? No, no, we're oh. just, I'm just narrating that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I burst healed them to death. <laughs> All right, let's say 170 gold worth. Okay. Awesome. And uh, its attacks were. In. Oops. Probably bludgeoning. Wait, actually, let me double check something. Uh... Okay, you have my permission. Yeah, you may. Sorry, I guess we'll allow it this You're time. Level six, you should have. <laughs> 450 each. Yeah. We are level, level six yet. five. You're level five? Yes. Yeah, we're yes. level five. We're getting close to six. I see. Yeah, let's say 170 gold. And it, they do um, piercing and bludgeoning damage, strength and fortitude, and constitution. Mm -hmm. Cool. They have low light vision and scent. Okay. Should I should I take that potion of invisibility? What does it do? Would it be helpful for me if I needed to sneak around for some reason? Because I'm not very stealthy otherwise. I mean, uh, I think it makes though. you tank better because don't people have a harder time hitting you. That's also true. And tell people. 
Until he attacks, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it goes away if I attack. So, yeah, it's more useful for, like, sneaking up on somebody and getting one good hit on them, or... Which is, like, a good thing for probably a rogue, but I don't know if Ernest feels like he's got it kind of under control regardless. He's, he got up anyway, so... I mean, it could be good for a fighter, because the fighter can get that one good hit would be a critical, probably. Oh, yeah, because attacking from... Isn't that a thing? I don't remember. Yeah. Well, I'm also thinking about, like, if we... I don't know if we maybe need to infiltrate this, like, tower, kind of, like, clandestinely. If, if we need well, to try and be sneaky more, for some reason, an invisibility potion is probably my best bet. I have got a whopping plus it's like, zero. No, you're, to you're the distraction, Malachi. <laughs> yeah, that could work too. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have nothing the, the for stealth. Lone, the lone crazy orc climbing the tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually a good idea is give uh, somebody invisibility potion, then they just climb and nobody sees it. <laughs> Well, it depends on what undead they have, because I think some undead can probably see invisible creatures. Oh, yeah. Or like smell them. Higher level ones. Yeah. Or smell them, or just outright sense, you know, light. Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, uh, would, would people... It probably help avoiding just gaze of necromancers, maybe. Would people be opposed to me taking 100 gold from zombie deer uh, so that my bow can start dealing void damage? Not at all. Go for it. No, I no. think that's a good use of it. Okay. Um, by the way, I would take away the scent and add that it was undead. That's fine. Okay. It's... okay. Excellent. Where is the stash? Um, so if you go to actors and then there's the party, there's a little folder icon and then there's an open sheet. And if you open that sheet, there's a tab oh, okay. on it that's the stash. Thank you. All right. Is it cool if I hold on to the invisibility potion for now? Does anyone have any objections to that or do, or think that they might have a better use no. for it? Or No, I think that's mm -hmm. a good idea. Can someone, can someone put that scroll in uh, Losir's inventory along with the scroll of false life he already has? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Should we... I know this is kind of boring. Should we just assign, give all the stuff in the stash to somebody so that we know who has what? Because we have some, like we have some interesting stuff in here. Is there I like the randomness of Ronald just determining who has it. If we <laughs> need... <laughs> Roll a d5 for everything. We could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll throw the scrolls in with Los here if nobody objects. No, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, and I'll then tassel I'll be able to make venom to Ernest it. probably. Oh, unless we want to give one tassel worm to Malachi just for if we know we're gonna fight something and a poison would be good. Yeah, I can I can definitely apply some some venom to my weapon. Yeah, it's um, pretty it's pretty good. It won't be. That good for much longer, I guess. So. Although to be, <laughs> to see that. to be fair, actually, I don't know if that's good for me because I always have my axe and my shield out, which means I'm gonna have to take like. Yeah, it would have to be something take that a we lot. put on before you get into a fight, essentially. Um, yeah, but if if that's the case, then Ernest can just put it on my thing beforehand. Yeah, but I don't ever need it like in battle. It's hardly ever gonna be worth it to spend the actions to dig it out of my bag. Yeah, it exactly. It's my... two actions to draw it and then apply it and then. Sorry, what are we it. talking about? Uh, the venom. Venom. <laughs> I think you should oh, probably venom. just take all the venom. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, chances are I won't use it, but I'll take it. Yeah. But you're you're more likely to use it than me. Yeah. Plus, sure. we get to say sure. that you you sure. apply it to three arrows or whatever, and then you just would have three poisoned arrows that you can use as you wish, you know. Versus Malgai, who we have to be like, okay, we're gonna get into a fight where this is gonna be useful, and then use it, you know. 
I mean, of all of us, I'm more likely to be near Malachi. So, if, I mean, I don't know if it's something that I can do. Is applying poison something that anyone can do? Yeah, you can, yeah. um... <laughs> Like basically just smash want... the bottle on his axe and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you um, want to put those in my inventory, yeah. in case I, in case it comes up and I can be near Malachi to, to put it on his axe. Um, I will also say I think me and Ernest should hold on to these like healing potions and elixirs of life. Ernest can't use them on himself, but it's at least if we need him to give somebody else some help oh no wait you can do battle medicine right i can yeah okay i'm the only one without any ability naturally to like heal a person mm -hmm. so do we mind if i take the the healing stuff no no that's fine case, I, I think if i i think i did end up healing somebody with a potion in a fight um yeah i think you healed uh either me or um ethelric Everyone I think it was last. Was, I think it was last I think it was session. Me. <laughs> I think it was me. Pretty sure it was me. So yeah, every, everyone else has ways to heal except for me. So if I ever need to get somebody back up or just give myself yeah. a little extra health, then there you go. In fact, it was me because you then dropped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I spent I spent my turn to help you get back up, and then I got knocked down. Yeah. So okay, was... I feel better now that we have we have a, we have some cool stuff in the stash that has now been assigned to people. So, so in terms of crafting, we have void added to the Ernest bow. Uh, yep. I uh, yeah. So, uh, so I know that won't work against the undead, but it looks like the leaders of the undead are not undead themselves. So, uh -huh. yeah, it'll at least work on them. So, I basically I deal one void damage and then i think at level six if i put a little bit more undead parts onto it it changes to 1d4 and then uh, and then at another level it becomes 1d6 actually let me take a look is there a name for this uh or is it um uh, it, okay so weapon? on the thing on the thing it's no it's uh it's called negative yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. the system uh but obviously void because it's void now so um, and it's specifically uh, Void Might, because there's two different things. There's Might and there's Magic, and I'm going the Might route there's with There's also it. Technique, which uh, would do Persistent Negative. Oh, that Persistent is not... Well, it's more useful against us for enemies to have, but Persistent isn't bad. I mean, it could be good against living enemies. Yeah, that's yeah. that's my goal, and uh, we 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 are coming across plenty of living enemies. So, yeah. So yeah, at level six, I can get the void damage increased to one d four, and at level um, at level eight, it can go up to one d six. So, yeah. But it starts out as just one additional. So. Okay. All right. They are satisfied with their their own re reconnoitering. What do you want to do? Start heading back toward the camp. Following to yeah. be joining. It's actually going to be another five days from today before the following arrives, I think. Oh, okay. Okay. Do we want to just check out, like, maybe this hex instead of going back to the camp then? Yeah, yeah. probably. There's, start, there's, like, no, point, there's no point in the going tower. back and just waiting around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. let's go see what's over here. So, you head northeast. My notes are somewhere. Well, 
So a day's travel. And you would need to reconnoiter here. Um, the the tower is the next hex over. So it's right here? Next, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's reconnoiter around here, okay. I say. All right, you do find in your more thorough search of this area a way marker that stands in the middle of barren plains. The handprint on it points southeast. There's a stone mm -hmm. disc here that depicts the five star constellation Star Mount, a legendary mountain with a peak that touches the stars. And in the middle of the sec of this day, you see three large megafauna up ahead that seem to be feasting on some elk corpses. Elk are small. These are soaked with blood. It stinks of rot, and it's, yeah. and the air is heavy with flies. So, they are some distance ahead, let's say 100 feet. Do the creatures that are alive, do they look, well, do they look undead is what I guess I should say, or? From here, um, what is feasting on them looks alive. There's three of these, mm, let's see here. Are we close enough to be able to do a nature check to see if we can tell what they are? Yeah. The ones that are doing the feasting? I would assume that we took time to heal also. Yeah. Okay, who would want to try to do a nature check? Me. I'd like to do um, that. I'll, I'll try one. Ernest would like to. Okay, Ernest. Um, you critically succeed. Um, they are what? giant hyenas, I believe. Wow. Hyena dogs? Oh. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, okay. that's what it looks like. Ugly looking, aren't they? Oopsie. Ah, um, they're cute. Think, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and they are scavengers. And you know that they tend to hunt in packs, they have the pack attack ability. And they have an advantage against foes who are prone. Oh, okay. I will, uh, I'll, I'm gonna put myself up here again, where Ernest would be. Kind of at the front. Um. Are, well, uh, do we, do we want are, to? Are we are these things things that Ernest could try to talk with, like to try to tame? If if they are in fact animals, I I could try. I just you know don't want to uh, spend all my time back with the group looking at them. <laughs> no, that's true. I think it might not be a, a terrible idea to try and get these things on our side. You don't want to be looking at them? I didn't get that. Yeah, it's... They, uh, it's Ernest doesn't like the, the way that they look like... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I can even describe them as. They look hairless. Yeah, they look like uh, they look like Sphinx. They're not like those cute. hairless cats a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, they look like um, giant muscular rats. <laughs> yeah, which not a good look. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> they look like super goblin dogs. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's pretty much a good way to describe it. Are you going to try to hold well, a piece? Uh, you notice some um, thinness on their bones. Ugly as they may be, I don't know that that's... We, we might still yeah, be. Yeah, I'm not to sure Isla is down to just skills. like attack them. Well, no, we'll not attack them, but I say leave well enough alone. Yeah, maybe so. All right. You want to avoid this? Yeah. That's what <laughs> Ernest's vote is. Yeah, well, I have no ability to tame them or do anything with them, so if we're not fighting them, then I'm useless. Those who so. have, um, have been searching by default, which I have as Losir and Isla, mm -hmm. you notice that there are deep wagon tracks and very large hoof prints leading northeast or southwest. Mm. So either towards the tower or away from it? Yep. Hmm. Okay. Do they look relatively new, or are they, like, just there? Hmm. Who has survival? Uh, I'm good at survival. Okay. I've got a plus nine. Island. Island is. Hold on. Okay. Hey, so you want know, me to roll it, Ronald? What's that? Do you want me to let a roll survival for you? Oh, I've been doing secret rolls here. Oh, you're doing secret ones, correct. Um, Ethelric and Malachi, you believe these tracks to belong to two two giant woolly rhinos oh cool. and you can tell by the the gate that they are headed northeast does it seem like this place is like highly trafficked Like, like, is it? Does it seem like there, there are a lot of like wagon tracks kind of going back and forth, or? You do not see other evidence of that. Okay, yeah, this is like a one time. Despite the, this picture, <laughs> there's not really a path. Have we determined what it is that the giant hyena things are eating? They were elk, I thought. Elk. An elk. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right. So well, if we're not messing with the big hyenas, then we can try and just slip away unnoticed, I, guess, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We at least know that a couple woolly mam, uh, woolly rhinos. Excuse me. Or uh, heading towards the tower, so probably something we mm. might need to contend with later. And we know that there are giant hyenas in the area. Mm -hmm. If we come back, you know, presumably these are wild, but they might be, they might belong to the necromancers. We don't know. They might be guard hyenas. Yeah. Although they would probably be uh, undead if the necromancers were. When uh, all you've, when all you know how to do is necromancy, everything starts to, you know, everyone, when all you've got is a hammer, kind of things start <laughs> to look like a nail. It seems like a lot of dead bodies would probably attract large scavengers to yeah. the area. So that's probably kind of just what happens when. There's a necromancer's tower in the area. Well, you would think that if there's there wouldn't be. You would think that if there were necromancers, there wouldn't be any large bodies lying around because the necromancers would probably animate them all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's if, tough to... if there's just roaming zombies and stuff around, the, they could kill things and leave them. And if the you know the necromancers would have to actually be there, like animating all the bodies, which. Hey, we know everybody's only got a limited amount of time, right? And power. True. So these, these hyenas are scavengers. Are they like aggressive or are they just kind of? They do what they need to eat. Okay. 
Think of them as so like they're, they're yeah, they're kind of like coyotes or something where they don't they're not necessarily going to go out of the way to attack you, but if they're really hungry, they might do something or if you kind of get too close to them. Okay. Well, then I don't feel too bad about leaving them here if we want. Yeah. I'm finished reconnoitering this uh, this area and, uh, and then head back. And by the time we get back, there might be only one day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big ugly day. Okay, very good. <laughs> so what is to the southeast? You said that the handprint on the marker was pointing oh, southeast. Yeah. I wouldn't mind actually going southeast before we head back to camp and just seeing what's yeah. over there. We've got this I'm curious what that point is marker. telling us. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've seen other markers like that. They just kind of, I think they're, they're supposed to point the, uh, what's, what is supposed to be the safest route through, but I don't think that they're exactly up to date. Okay. Probably not, but there might be stuff there that we could find and use. Well, considering the proximity to the tower, it's likely to be undead. Yeah. Either way, I'm, if we want to go check that out, that's fine. Or if we want to head back to camp and meet up with the following, I, that's... I personally am neutral either way. So uh, let's let let's, uh, let's head back to camp. It's been what a month since we've uh, seen our friends. Yeah, coming up on that, I think. That sounds good. Six weeks. All right. Well, they arrive shortly after you do. Um, and you are. They are arriving in the large numbers. <laughs> um, you see your old friends. It looks like this... everyone has survived. Good. This looks like space invaders. <laughs> Do we see the... Um... You, can, you see Wipakoa's children have uh, substantially... They are now officially... Um, they're, they're not tiny infants. They're like plump babies now. <laughs> they're three. They're triplets. Mm -hmm. um, what about the uh, people that we met in the cave? I think I would check up in on them. The secret yeah. child. Yeah, they, um, they've been helping the following adjust to the surroundings and the flora is very different here. It's much easier to find game. Uh, they tell you that uh, they are... They, they tell you you are a very interesting group. <laughs> yeah, you pull together everybody. You have a um, shaggy shemven. You have a, fl a uh, fleshies. Yeah. You have, <laughs> I don't know what this thing is. Um, but, uh, I was gonna ask about that as well. <laughs> so that, that was the uh, that was the Yeti spec. The woolly pea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Did uh, did the Raven lady come with us? Because I thought she was gonna stay on the other side of the cave. She uh, was uh, she, assuming a scouting role. She actually did not come with the following. She's actually they asked her. Um, to um, uh, keep a watch at the mountains for a while for the next couple of weeks. Gotcha. Okay. That's true. Cool. There are people that might be coming through after us soon enough. Yeah, and I think with uh, your following, according to my notes here, numbers... 84 so you actually um i think there are about 40 crusader uh, ex crusaders here okay yeah everyone's um the uh 
the broken tusks are uh, teaching them their customs and uh, doing a uh, trying to gather things for a meal tomorrow night as a traditional way that they greet other followings. They're gonna have dances. <laughs> Imex super excited. Um, and getting to know the, the, acquainted with the horses in the camp. Um, <laughs> well, mm -hmm. can I put them all on the other map? <laughs> Will they fit? <laughs> I'd assume some of the uh, animals might need to stay outside. Yeah, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> now we can really get this party going. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... I'm going to attempt to impress everyone by making a bonfire. Ah, okay. And that makes uh, preparing the meals much easier. They um, they don't want to light it during nighttime, however. They don't want to catch attention, but it does make mm. preparations for the big uh, welcome and feast um, go by much easier. So they, they would... Um, they ask if you can uh, stay until tomorrow night. I'm sure we can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. I'd like I to. Mean, I, uh, I mean, after this, we're probably making a beeline for the next hour. of hours. So, yeah, getting getting rest before going there is probably going to be good for those of you who need it. Very good. If anyone wants to retrain anything. I'm just bringing it out there that there's a lot of people who can <laughs> you can talk to right now. Mm. Do we have time to do any retraining? Because isn't it I'm a week to do to that? Wave the usual time limits just to give specialness to this occasion. Oh. Okay. Okay. Pretty happy with my way everything works for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I think the same, honestly. I hit, I hit things hard and good. <laughs> I probably will be uh, using some of the monster parts to uh, get myself that uh, low light vision item, uh, by the way. I need to look at the math again. I think it's... I think it's 280 to get the permanent one. Oh, also, I can't quite do that yet, because I think that's level 6, so I'll need to wait a little bit, but I'll... Use some of it to get it to the level four version. Hmm. Interesting. Well, uh, Montgrim, the commander, um, thanks you for taking care of the the nearby threats and wants to give the party something in return. Um, it is going to be... Uh, this text just tells me the item, but not like whether it's lesser or moderate. Level appropriate? Yep, level appropriate. It will be this. Something that uh, uh, they hope they can it can help you against um, what threats you face in the tower. The potion of electricity retaliation. Interesting. Something that they had taken off a corpse. Hmm. They also have a holy symbol of Venexus. Unholy symbol. The Nexus? That is the uh, white dragon that ah. rules over the. Yeah, I was going to ask you if we could take the one off that necromancer that we killed. It's true. Uh, 
totally some, could be useful if we wanted to deceive someone into believing we were one of them, but... Yeah, and we do have a, uh, we do have an undead member of the party that could maybe help sell that as well. Uh, How are you reacting like a true undead, I guess? Um, I can let out, well, you, you know about the terrifying moans I can make. Uh, as far as um, acting not myself, I am not the most deceptful of deceitful of persons, but... But, but how are you at performing like an undead? Uh, also he not good. He, he is an undead. <laughs> right, but he doesn't act like one. I'm saying acting like one. Uh, I mean, I, I am... I am consistently working towards finishing my unfinished business. I feel an urge to do it, of course, and uh, obviously going through everything that we're doing is helping me get there, so... But, um... But yeah, I, I, I would not be able... I would be unlikely to be able to fool anybody. <laughs> i.e. mechanically, deception plus six, performance plus six, and that's only because I, I have the um, the feat that allows me to add my level well, to untrained things. Yeah. And I guess you technically wouldn't be trying to fool them and thinking you're undead because, like they said, you are yeah, undead. But it would be have more you... like fooling them into thinking that I was an undead on their side. Yeah, yeah, but we've got uh, we've got Ethelric, who's a, who's a bit of a smooth talker that can. Except all I have is this, is diplomacy. <laughs> oh, okay, bad at bad at lying. I see. Sorcerers aren't. Uh, they don't have the number of skills that wizards yeah. do, or especially rogues. Um, and diplomacy is just this his thing. All right. Uh, does anybody care if I take this? I I hate to be like I don't want to be the one that's like grabbing all the stuff from I the stash. I think the I, electricity retaliation potion is going to be best for you. But yeah, I feel like it makes sense because I'm the one that wants to be taking the hits anyway. So exactly. Yeah, take it. Sounds good to me. I wonder if the Nexus is actually able to to grant her followers any spells I would assume that you need some some level of deity in order to do so yeah who knows who knows and with the, that frozen flame that she's the only got. the only necromancer that we've come in contact with didn't cast divine spells cast arcane which suggests that it, that they were not a cleric but were in fact likely a wizard yeah, maybe it's more of just uh, showing their devotion instead of mm -hmm. getting any kind of special. Indeed. Indeed. Which is actually a relief. That means that uh, the Nexus has not risen to deity, and that will make it much easier to um, destroy her when the time comes. I, I, from my understanding, it is very, very difficult to kill a deity. I mean, it's very, very difficult to kill a dragon. Uh, not as hard as it would be to kill a deity. Especially if they don't want to die. Yes. The only deity I know of that has died is Eridan. Hmm. Huh. I imagine you'd be a very rich ghost if you figured out who killed, or how Eridan managed to die. I, I mean, I know he's dead. I mean, that's not exactly a mystery to people. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I, but yes, I am completely unaware of the how or anything. But I'm sure that we won't have to worry about another deity dying for a long time to come. <laughs> Probably just a once in a lifetime event. Millennia. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> would it be hilarious, would but, would it be hilarious if another god died in the near future? That'd be hilarious. 
Oh, it would be really hilarious if it was Gora because he's supposed to be really good at fighting. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it, just in case anyone doesn't know whether you're watching here on, on the stream, they, spoiler alert, they have announced that Gorum is going to die. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Gorum's the deity that's going to be dying in the uh, War of the Immortals. Other ones oh. are apparently going to die as well, but they're the one in the main 20. So. My, Spoilers! Uh, my solitude Spoilers, is shattered. But... It's like we're... <laughs> Game of Thrones thing here now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Quietude. But, right. um... I, I uh, consider an adventure path to be in the year it was published. By the way, so I think. We're mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, obviously, Gorm's not going to be dying until. <laughs> they said that there was actually going to be an adventure where it happens basically on on screen for people so that's going to be interesting but oh okay got some pop yeah we make the one after wardens of wildwood uh well wardens of wildwood they've already announced is not part of the war of immortals stuff they said oh. the first time that war of immortals is going to have any effect on any of the meta is going to be the one which is the one where you create an opera based off of a past adventure hmm. I think it's called like stage fight or something. Yeah, curtain call, and I think curtain stage call, fight. curtain call. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and the first adventure is called stage fight. Yeah, yeah. Which right. hey, that'll be cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna say I think Isla would have uh, caught up with Nocta, uh, the healer, during some of this uh, downtime. Um. And maybe, I don't know what I would be doing. Probably just trying to kind of smooth over any, uh, let's say, <clears throat> diplomatic incidents that happen between, like, people in the following and some of the crusaders here, because I imagine there might be a little bit of that. Yeah, um, cultural misunderstanding. Yeah, stuff like that. Just trying to teach, mostly teach the crusaders of, like, hey, this is how we do things. Don't yeah, fuck with us. <laughs> crusaders have survived by being somewhat, you know, paranoid and suspicious oh. of things that are different and uh, yeah yeah i kind of got that vibe so <laughs> yeah give me a diplomacy check to see what the overall diplomatic uh, can i be helping uh is. can i be helping um yes uh, i will to do that instead yeah, of uh, you know actively doing as, it as, as the broken tusk recruiter i'm good at uh mending um Diplom diplomacy things, so I, I, yeah. I plan on going into getting some diplomacy at some point, but mm -hmm. I haven't gotten it yet, so. <laughs> yeah, I, a lot of the animals are fearful of each other. That's another issue. So uh, you know issue. what? I would do that, I think, actually, is uh, try to, yeah, help tend to the, with the animals and do maybe, yeah, just like nature oh, to try to. Do that and do also we, a, um, you know helping the, the people get along check <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> do you want me to roll anything sure. see that ah uh, well that's a two okay two on the die i mean it's not mm. a failure but um a number of animals would need to um <laughs> of your following would need to not be in the camp you know what you know what we're not getting we're not keeping that there it goes okay. well We'll that's find. better. <laughs> that that succeeds. That succeeds. Okay. Um, the more, um, the less wild animals are definitely in the camp. Our abomin abominable thing and uh, the dire wolf will be, you know, the following will send out food, <laughs> packages of food. They're, they're a bit wild. Hey, Ronald, can I retrain two things, or is there only time to retrain one thing? One thing. One thing? Okay. Um, and I don't know who would be retraining kineticist stuff. <laughs> well, um, I have some spellcasters. But I'm... Yeah. Um, but I... And it, it would probably be a spellcaster, because I wanted to swatch out... Uh, the ever burning flame impulse feet from level two to the uh, K 
kinetic activation, I think is what it is. Eternal Torch? One with... What's that? Eternal Torch? Yeah, Eternal Torch. Uh, for the kinetic... I think it's kinetic activation lets me use magic items using my kineticist level and DCs. Kinetic activation, okay. Um... You can activate magic items that require you to be able to cast a spell. As long as it shares a trait with one of my elements. Mm -hmm. So fire. Or wood, yes. And I'm assuming potentially plant also, but that might be up to you. I don't see why not. Wait, I don't know. Well, there are wood... There are wood... There are wood spells, yeah. Yeah, I think that's outside of what this is thinking. Um, you can also prepare a staff that has one spell with an appropriate trait. Okay. Yeah. Okay, kinetic activation. But I could also use it for scrolls, which is going to come into play at level six. I will be right back. Okay. Yeah, can we? Did, is it, have we hit the halfway point? Um, Just about. Pretty close. A bit or, yeah, I'm gonna but... go a little longer today. Next oh, are we? Minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think of anything else I would like to do while I'm here. All right. Happy music. Let me see if I can find some happy music. There's right. some exists somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds gloomy. Throw a party in the USA. <laughs> I'm going to use the town ambiance. Okay. All right. You know, honestly, this, this little settlement is larger than some of the hamlets that are in Pathfinder Adventure Paths. I'm reading through Rustenge, this level one adventure. Oh, yeah. Nighty. Okay. All right. Where do you want to go now? Uh, I think we're gonna head on to the tower. Yeah. So we talked with um. Uh, the that dwarf, and he was saying that like, a large scale assault on the tower is probably not advisable. Is that kind of the the consensus among everybody more that it would be wiser for just us five to try and go in there and yeah okay. yeah okay. That's go in unseen preferably yeah then in that case yeah let's uh head out to the tower i think we're okay at least uh, um, that's cool by me it's just going to be us. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Three days later. I will have my gateway uh, attenuator. My gate attenuator. I'll have it set to, to wood today. I just don't know. I don't remember exactly what Porsching Flora does. Well, here, um, you see up ahead, it looks like um, there is a very large cage on a wagon being dragged in your direction, being uh, led by two giant skeletal rhinos. And there's a little mini entourage. There are two skeletal horses accompanying it with riders, a couple of people on foot, and a couple of uh, lumbering large zombies. And 
and what do you do when you see them in the distance? Um, I, I think we should try and uh, hide, find if there's like, brush or something on the side of the road to try and... Yeah, there's, um, there's not a lot of cover. You currently are behind a tree, but there's not, it's a lot of open space uh, between you and them. Give me how far away we are. Hear me out. Uh, take out everyone but the skeletal rhinos. The skeletal rhinos aren't the most intelligent things. Turn it around, drive it back to the tower. Everyone's hiding in the back. And the tower wonders why the cart came back so quickly. And they let us in to figure it out and we kill them. Yes? Yeah, I, I like this plan. Let's, uh, quick, let's Possible. try and maybe set up an ambush so, or something. Would I have enough time to throw up a couple of trees that we could use as a screen? You could, though that would, um, you are in It's two action use timber sentinel. Yeah, I mean, if you guys decide to come up with a plan like that, I think My my screen is still on the camp right, screen, is I'm that? Ready yet. Okay, okay. Okay, no, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't, that I wasn't having some kind of weird forge glitch or something. Yeah. So yeah, it's, you it's action. Put down some timber, uh, you want to put down the tree. Yeah, each time I use timber sentinel, the previous one will just become a regular tree, so I can put up a a screen after, you know, over a couple of seconds, over like 30 seconds. You know what? I don't know how quickly thing is moving. This group needs to do a stealth check. Is anyone an expert? Yes. I, hey, hold on. Too bad. Uh, Ernest I, is an expert in stealth. All right, so you can, um, they can follow the expert, maybe. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. All Me right. too. So I'm going to secretly roll for folks. Okay, you're rolling our stuff for us. Okay. Plus zero. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm done rolling. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Did my character fuck it up? <laughs> They, clank, uh, clank, clank, clank. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Malachi uh, makes a unbecoming noise. Um, <laughs> Screech! <laughs> yeah. The ones that are on foot, one of them yells, Hey! Uh, to, to the party. And stand down! Hi! Um, and, uh, this person wears robes. Similar garb as the mage you fought before. Hi, hi. Um, I'm Ethelric, and uh, what's your name? They already know we're here, so we might as well talk. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're the best one. one. You're the one who's best suited to do it. All bow to him. Do you swear allegiance? Well, I'm already kind of short, so bowing isn't really my thing. Um, I don't... I mean, w w what would I get if I swore my undying allegiance? <laughs> I just find it funny that you play that very awkward characters, but you have a high charisma support. <laughs> um, he's, so, he's so awkward, people can't help but love him. Alright, give me a diplomacy check to see how I'm going to react to this. I'm not sure. Um, that's what I'm actually really good at. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm sorry. You just asked what again? You weren't. Sh what would I? What would? What would I get if I? If I, I swore my undying allegiance? 
Would you get? Would I? Would I get to uh, go go see your fancy tower? Well, the tower is only for those who have proven themselves, uh, proven their allegiance. However, if you have talents that you can lend to our to our ambitions, you may be welcome to the fold. But I see that you have uh, people with different talents. Well, yes, but you see this. This uh, uh, senior little guy here, yeah, he he is my servant. Ah, would we have like made our way closer to them? Would we have like, or are we like yelling at them from (laughs) however far away? Yeah, I think we would have, right? All right. At least gotten to maybe like, yeah. Yeah, it's rude to yell at long distances. <clears throat> and Ronald, I'm going to point out I do not have my aura currently because I would have taken it down to try to hide behind the trees after I made them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that would be I... able to use impulses too, right? That means that I have to activate the aura to use any impulses. Yeah. In the if we get to a fight, yes. Uh, upon being uh, upon being called out as his servant, I will kind of. Uh, give him kind of a side eye <laughs> at first, and then be like, "Indeed." <laughs> yes, you joke, sir. As he says the uh, ne- uh, mage. I'm gonna call him a necromancer right now. So they think you are lying, but in a good-natured way. Well. We will have you know that uh, we have no issues, as you can see, with uh, those from beyond the grave. Yeah, of course, us, uh, us neither. Did you? Uh, how, how did how did you come about come upon this servant? <laughs> Says with irony. Well, um, he was killed, and. Uh, I... Well, obviously, he's a ghost. Of course he died. Um, and, uh, yeah, I said, uh, follow me. And he started following me. So he he, he works for me now. And the others? <laughs> what brings you all together? Uh, what brings you we're, all together? Uh, we're with him also. What What others? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, what brings you to uh, this valley? Well... We are explorers, and uh, uh, we saw your tower, and we thought, oh, let's go check the tower out. <laughs> uh, I was going to ask if uh, Isla could roll, maybe probably perception, to see if we can see what's inside of the uh, the cage on this cart. It's empty. Empty. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yes, we're we're just exploring, and we we thought we would uh, check things out. All right. Well, you should, unless you s- swear allegiance to Ash and Swade, we do not tolerate any who, uh, any other. Any other uh, people who ser- may serve other. Okay. Interests. So. So basically what I'm gathering here is you want me and my friends to swear allegiance to Ash and Sway, 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 <laughs> Anyways, you want me to swear allegiance to this, 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 this entity. And um, if we don't, then the hidden threat there is that you will kill us if we don't. Naturally. Well, Murder isn't necessarily natural. I don't mind, yeah, I don't mind dying of natural causes. Y- yeah, I, and I'm thinking we would prefer to die. Um, it's swale. I'm getting it wrong. Swale. Okay. Um, I, I would prefer to die of old age. Thank you. So, um, uh, how would we go about swearing allegiance? Is there like a secret handshake, or, or um, do we have to do a dance? Well, 
we would have you prove your loyalty by helping us on this patrol route to get some more corpses. You would help us make some corpses. There are, there's a camp of, of useful bodies out in the southwest that we could definitely find some good corpses to serve our master. Um, as soon as soon as they start um, talking about um, making corpses of the following, uh, Ernest, I like his irises disappear, and his mouth just starts like almost like breaks up, breaks in how open it becomes, and he just starts flying straight at his. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think this is um, a character moment. I think I would give inspiration if this were d and I think I will. <laughs> you can give a hero so point, the yeah. Question is, is Ernest going in for an attack or a hug? <laughs> Maybe it, it can be both. <laughs> I, I think um, hostilities are beginning, am I right? Yes. All right. Well, yeah. We have a little mini cliffhanger. Let's take our break, you all. And then, can I use diplomacy for my um my initiative? Yes. You want to roll initiative now? <laughs> well, no. I mean, if we if when it does when and if it does happen, I mean, I would. We'll be rolling initiative. Happen, and I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna allow Ernest to have one free uh, move action if he wants. <laughs> go ahead. Nice. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sure. I'll yeah. go ahead and just uh, get to there. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. What, am I allowed to use uh, diplomacy for initiative? Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. The rocks. All right. You can roll initiative to get that out of the way. In the meantime, let's uh, hold the scene in 10 minutes. Uh, Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Why am I wasting my 20s there? Although. <laughs> They are an ideal fireball uh, <laughs> formations. <laughs> okay, right now these two creatures are tethered. So they grab by the. Okay. Who are you going to apply conditions to multiple tokens at once now? I didn't know you could do that. Okay. All right. Let's uh, okay. break, and I'll see you very soon. Okay. All right. It's the victory of New York City in early March. 16 goals of the Timbers is the second best in the Western Conference, but they've conceded 11 in their last four. Through last multi goal game, the 2 2 draw in Nashville, charging his 177th game in Major League Soccer. He is 10 up all tonight, and CJ Zabrocki leads the VAR team in Arlington, Texas. Well, for advance, he signed a contract extension this week. He won MLS Cup in his first year last year. He's taken the crew to the CONCACAF Cup semi-finals. He's lost only 10 of 47 games, of course, MLS in the job. Phil Neville, his counterpart, said yesterday, this is the ultimate test for us. It's another game where we'll see our level. Expect them to be bold. He bats one year before. So many talents and stars to look out for across this game. Another signature week coming up for the Columbus Drew. The head coach certainly signed up for it first at the Timbers. An unpredictable foe and a venue where so often in recent times results here have been predictable. All out for an early swimming for the Columbus Drew. And of course, the days of private pride and 
Sir John. And when new episodes of Friends were still dropping on TV, and the Canadian star Alanis Morissette was topping the charts, and Ross Smith was dreaming of being a professional footballer. What great times. And Ross, uh, I've set you up. Take it away. With the dream that daily came true for me. I look at it today, and it could very well be a game. I threw out punches, the other team's Zimmer's third in the league, and it goes more second in that bar. For a hot window, so much fungus. What we've seen, they're capable of ripping teams apart. We want to pull red bulls this year, so the key today is movement. Our fungus group for me was the one that was actually the best team in the league for movement. The Zimmer's, they struggled playing against that. Players moving in and out of their positions defensively. So for the Zimmer's, if they can get the grips defensively with the movement of the Zimmer's, it could be a good day. If not, it could be damage control. Five straight draws in the competitions for the hometown to remove five without a win since that victory at the end of the stadium for the Northern Zimmer's. It's a nice evening on the blue skies in Central Ohio, but it is slightly cool. Where's these lights? Is he still interested in throwing this to watch? At what point do you look at this? Jump out. Looks of press. I think they can't stand with the Columbus crew. The training ground yesterday. It was very good. If you want to be almost out of the game, he wanted to be able to go out and call the student part of that. It's getting really awesome. They call you around the states and really think about the ball around the city. But it's not easy. You're going to stay.
Compliant goals help that to a big win. Forward, um, seeing that that's what we do. Yeah, um, now is probably the is the only really good opportunity for this. The sorcerer's favorite spell. Yeah, this is massive fireball value. Now the question is: is do we want to get the uh, the skeletal horses in? I don't no, think I like they're, they're have, They have to like pull that cart. They're attached to it, I would assume. So, so I'm gonna place the fireball there. All right. Kaboom! When this should be on. Oh, sorry. My dread martial stance. I, I forgot to take it off. That shouldn't be. It should right, just be 23. So the, um... All right. I'll take that. As well. Zombie boot critically fails. It takes 42 fire, I believe. No, 46 fire. Um, these are living people riding these horses. By the way. Um, oh, there are people on them. Yeah. Oh, okay. These guys, okay. And that person fails, takes 23. The skeletal horse succeeds and takes, well, has fire resistance. So take six damage. Answer. Succeeds and takes eleven. And then I will uh, use my final action to cast glass shield upon myself. I believe you are muted, Mr. Ernest. Sorry, Ernest moves directly, continues flying directly at the 
the necromancer and uh and then uh points and and, and says says you will not harm them who i protect and i uh will make that a frightful mo all right so let me get the That's two action, right? that is two actions so this will be my entire turn um where is why can i not find it all of a sudden Here it is. Okay, three foot animation. Um, those that have brains will make saving throws. The Necromancer fails and becomes frightened one. And the Rider that's nearby critically fails. <laughs> These guys are terrified of Ernest. Yeah. They were not expecting this. Oh, did you hear how I described how he was approaching them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> they're, they're right to be scared, I think. All right. Um, the large zombie. Who looks like. Um... Oh, I don't even know. Right, 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 right. No, right. It looks like um, a. Uh, Resurrected, not resurrected, but an animated ogre. An animated ogre is going to attack the rest. Alright, I will not nimble dodge this first one. Okay. Oh, that's a mess. Nice. Although I guess it's a level, uh, it's, yeah, it's not like these aren't super strong. Yeah. Um. Um. Oh wow! Really? This spell requires three actions and has a range of three. No. I'm thinking. <clears throat> yeah. I think it's time for another image. We love another image. Fair enough. Okay, zombie group is gonna mosey on down. Okay. I'm going to cast plus here. And I think for now, I'm just going to move a little bit out. Collecting me. No, I know why. Mm, yeah, let's go right here. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, I don't think this person. Will do it. Okay, this person is going to command the horse to ride forward and flank Ernest. Well, he's not flanking actually. At the moment, I actually can ride around Ernest. Despite. A great fear of Ernest at the moment. Um, is this a flank? It's supposed to be. Yeah, because he's in within reach of the zombie, not the other side, right? Like. Yeah. 
I'm gonna say you're flanked, no matter what the <laughs> <Jackpot does. laughs> Because when you're mounted, you're counting as being in both spaces, too. And I yeah. still don't have- I still am not nimbly dodging. Oh, you know what? I don't- I think your deny advantage is in effect right now. Oh yeah! You are oh, absolutely sure. correct. I do have deny advantage. So if they are lower or equal level than me. All right, to me. Oh. Seven. Oh, seven. They did raise their shield. Okay, Which is then, only uh, five. Frighten goes down. Malachi. That's so annoying that he got in my way. <laughs> um. I need to. I would love to get next to this necromancer, and I'm trying to see if there's a way for me to do it. If I got to here, that's 50 feet, and then six, 55, 60, right? So I could do that. I can I can just use all three actions to run right here. Yeah, yeah. sixty feet. Yep. I just want to be in the all right, this guy in a threatening a area next to this, this mage. Strike against you, mounted guy. Okay, that's fine. Bring it. This is by one because they were frightened. That was all three of my actions. Oh, all three? Oh. Yeah, I, I ran 60 feet. Okay. Well, Necromancer here is going to cast a spell against you. All right, is it manipulate trait? Yes. All right, I'm going to hit him. That misses. Dang. And... Natural feast. Make a fortitude save. Alright. Okay. Bad rolls. You take 20 void damage and it gains half of that temporary hit points. Casts, uh, Yeah, I did just use it, so. Actually, more like walk away. Um. Let's see her. Okay, how far away are we from them? Maybe like the, the wagon's like 70 feet away. And there's other opponents between you and the wagon, but they're farther away than the necromancer is. Okay. Um, Alright, so the necromancer basically is the closest thing, mm -hmm. what I'm understanding. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will activate my aura and do a. Uh, fire blast at the necromancer. Right. How many act oh, one action? Yeah, it's just the free one action one that comes with the uh, aura. All right. We'll ignore that tree. Is this someone doing that? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I was not on it. Uh, 
Uh, two more actions. Okay. Um, I will. Uh, I'll activate my hardwood armor. Okay. And I'll go ahead and do a, another fire blast at the Necromancer. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. All right. Skeletal horse has a 50 foot speed. It's going to gallop forward. Up Can it do that when it's attached to the wagon? No, these are uh, different horses. Yeah, the so things attached to the wagon are, are like rhinoceroses. Skeletal rhinos. Ooh, okay. Gotcha. Makes sense. Bastard sword. Natural one. Okay, Ernest. No, Ethelred. Yeah, that changes what I had had in mind. And you saw that they have they have a uh, reactive strike, so be careful yeah. about that too. Although it would be tough for them to crit you, I think, and stop you from. Yeah, that does change what I had planned. I'm going to take a five foot step there. And I am going to cast a spell. Not what I was planning on casting, but we are going to cast electric arc on the spare medium and the skeletal horse he's riding. Okay. Um, the rider is uh, succeeding. It takes half damage, but the, the mount fails. It takes four. Um, but this is fine. Wonderful. Those are my actions. Um, Ernest seems to almost like snap back into reality after he gets hit and is like, oh, what? And, uh, notices someone's right next to him and is going to like look at them and recall knowledge on them. Uh, not on the horse, but on them themselves. On the rider? Yep. Tell that they are not spellcasters, and that their paint puts them in allegiance with the, the necromancers. Um, right. They have other uh, markings that suggest that they are sutaki. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they're not off guard. All right. Um, and then I will. I will move away to here and then I will uh, seeing that that zombie brute has taken some some damage I will fire at it mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Not... Wait a second. Okay, it's cal it's doing the void damage wrong. I'll figure that out. Okay. So it should be seven less. Okay. Um. Al also, they wouldn't take the void damage anyway. Right. Let's see. Does it 
this council. Uh, yeah, it does. It didn't also. Okay, cool. I'll figure out how to do the damage correctly. Uh, that's my turn, so. Yeah. Alright, that one's nearly destroyed. And it's gonna focus its moody fists on Malachi. And this. Okay, Malachi's able to defend the blows. Um. Necromancer goes forward. This is the northern Necromancer that's behind the wagon. Mm -hmm. And actually, there's one, two, four, five. Um, I know what it is when it hits us. <laughs> Doesn't seem to have any immediate effect. Oh. Um, okay, next is a zombie root number two. It's right there where Malachi is. It can yep. come more meaty undead fists. Bring it on. So the second one hits for 10 damage second. and pushes him five feet away. Okay. Wait, except that this would be a good remaster, would that be on your own? I don't think. No, I don't, I don't think so. I think they have to do a check for it. I have the monster for a buck. Push. Attempts to shove at the same map. I mean, at full map. I mean, no map. Okay, so... Shove, athletics. 18. Does not shove Malachi, he stands oh, wait. ground. You rolled, I think you rolled my skill. Oh, I did? Oh, my bonus. Zombie bonus is <clears throat> lower than that, so... Yeah, less than that, okay. okay. So I'm back. So this Malachi is was, right. Yeah, it was right there. Okay, I love you. <clears throat> okay. Um Let me see here. I think Hmm. I think I'm gonna Hit the um, two right next to me with. Oh, do I want to do that? Yeah, I think we're gonna go for electric arc. Let me see if I can. Like them. It might be better to try and focus the riders down. Yeah, that's a good point. I think. Um, yeah. I think what I'll do instead is uh, take a step right here and then um, Divine Lance, the rider. You can, um, oh, that's a single target, huh? Yeah. It is going to have less recovery. Okay. Because of mounted combat. That hits. Still pretty sure that's a hit. Cool. Yep. Oh, spirit damage. Yep. Okay, excellent. Oh wait, they wouldn't have done the AO the reactor. So. I took a snap. I stepped. But they. But you cast a spell. 
Oh, the spell, right? Yeah. Would you have one? The, you could have stepped there. Yeah, you, you could have stepped backwards. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. You, you, you hit the right. Um, okay, this rider that is uh, your Malachi is going to man horse. Raise, raise shield and make an attack against a flanked Malachi. That's a hit. Seven. Okay. That's the, that rider's turn. Malachi. All right. He's made my job easier. I'm going to uh, target the rider. Uh huh. Take a swing at him. Uh huh. Ah, it's a regular hit. Do shield. Um, eight damage. They're gonna shield block. I'm then going to. Turn around and, well, I mean, not actually move, but uh, use my second attack to attack this zombie, mm -hmm. which should pretty That's much hit. Critical hit. Yeah. All right, that one. I should lock kill off. it. It's a hunk of useless flesh on the, on the grass. So did sweep get played into that? Oh. It would have. And, uh, but it has to be adjacent to that creature. Oh. oh. Mm. But your force—it has, it has to be initial, adjacent to the initial target and within reach. So nothing. Mm -hmm. And my third action, I will raise my shield. Did did the forceful damage get added into your second strike? Uh, I don't think it doesn't matter. Um, when uh, you I attack, you know the weeks. Um, that was a crit. Yeah, it did not factor in forceful. Okay. Even though we'll it speed off of a half attack. So it, it would do two it would do two uh extra damage. It would. Okay, it was dead. Okay. Sweep does not require adjacent adjacency. I'm looking at it. Oh no, sweep sweep doesn't, but crit specialization does. Oh okay. Um so yeah. If if you attacked a different creature earlier this turn, you get a plus one circumstance bonus. So you do okay. you have one more action? Uh, I raised my shield. Oh, oh okay. Alright, Necromancer, number this Necromancer is uh And cast a lightning bolt at Isla and Ethelic. Alrighty. Nice six success. Oh, failure. Yeah, it's 24 incoming damage. I am going, I believe, to use my, or is it actions, unexpected shift. Ah. Um. Okay, do a flat check. Ah. That's interesting. It used to be in this area. Okay. So I take on a failure. I take just the full damage. Right? There's the damage. Yeah. Well, thankfully I had some temporary hit points. Yep. He's got the palpitation of extending his fingers. <laughs> Next is Lucier. All right. Um. 
Am I next to one of these things that are attacking us with melee? Uh, you are 15 feet away from the mountain rider. Okay, so I'm not I'm not within reactive strike range. No. If I if I do anything, okay. Um, so how far away is Malachi? Malachi is 65 feet away. 65 feet. All right. Um, so I'm going to put up a timber sentinel next to Ethelric. Mm -hmm. It could be next to you also. Yeah, you're next okay, to each other. That's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to raise my shield. Okay. Protector tree. Alright, and you raise your shield. Yep. Whoa, what's this? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I can secret checks that the GM doesn't even know about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to <laughs> test my stuff. Hey, good. Okay. Um, I didn't realize that it would even show a roll at all. Ah, uh, horse gets commanded to ride around. It's now next to Losir and the Thorin. Um, guy raises shield and it's going to attack Ethel right now. With the bastard sword that hits. Protector tree, though. We will oh, take some damage. Takes the damage. Yep. yep. <laughs> All right. Um, Ethelric's turn. It's getting range is preventing me from doing what I want to do. Well, if he does reactive strike, then it's likely the going to hit. The tree. the tree can take some of the damage if it does. Some of the tree is still there. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna summon an animal, and I can't figure out how to that grab. Will provoke, but What's up? Okay with that. That will provoke. Yes, but I've got a protector tree. Hopefully that'll hmm. do the job. Yeah, that'll so take the damage. So as long as you don't get crit, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna summon an animal, right. and I I want to summon a pteranodon. Is that something I could summon? Yes. Is there a menu thing? Like, is there an I don't know where that is. That's the problem. Say it again? I, I don't know where that is. Oh, okay. So let me just place one. Where do you want to put it? So I would like to... Let's hold on. Let me do a little measurement here. We could do it. It's large. Right there. I'm sorry? It's large. Yes, so... Okay. Like, though... Because I'm... I intend to have it sweep. Or swoop. Or what is that called? Um... Swoop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. So... With the casting of that three action spell, I get to command automatically. I'm using its two actions to swoop. It's going to move a toll. It's. Can I. Oh, I got a target. There we go. Um, it's going to move. Can I select? I cannot select it. I have no control over oh, it. Right. I thank you. It's going to move here. He can move his entire fly speed of 40 feet, but will edit, make an attack at any point during that. And he's oh, going nice. to... Um, doesn't have reach, so it's a plus 10 beak attack. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to have the rider. Okay, I'm going to say this is a flank rider. Right, we are going to make a strike. It's flanked? Oh, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Hello, Sierra is uh, threatening it also. Yeah, so that is a... That just makes him off guard, right? Yep. All right. Ah, uh, oh. a raised shield. I... Uh, 
10, 15, 20. <laughs> the Anzi uh, Ronald. I got Ronald. I got Ronald. <laughs> and we'll move, continue the move there. Right. Oh, okay, five foot elevation. Y yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, cool. Ernest. Okay. Uh, going to uh, attempt to recall Dolage again. Against the same thing? Yeah. Um, industrial yes. medium. Yep, you succeed. And oh. you know that okay. there. A name comes into your mind. They are Bone Warriors. Ooh. Do you have a question? Um, yeah, uh, best save. that they're physically tough, that they uh, focus on martial training, so 42 is their best save. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Alright, and now I will attack. Alright. Uh, 13, one void. I can't get it to do just one void. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It, 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 at minimum, it has to be a single damage die. So... On D1? It, it doesn't give an option for a D1. No, I know, I know. I'm not. No. <laughs> Additional custom damage. Yeah. Huh. I see some spaces. Did you try to... Yeah, I filled with it, but the, but like if I put just one in there and no dice, it oh, it, it auto it automatically does the d6. That's weird. Yeah. That's too bad. Because there are other magic items that uh, do one damage. Like, I'm sure that there's a way to get into certain parts of it and change it, and I've been. Doing some quick googling, but haven't found anything as of yet. Okay. Okay. All right, that's a hit. What else? Uh, okay, and uh, then I will. The screen went black for me. Why did the screen go black for me all of a sudden? I will attempt to strike again. Okay. And missed. I'm done. Max the sight shield. Here comes the next master. The more than that master is going to move forward to the rhino and extends out a hand. And a spectral version of his hand shoots out towards uh, Malachi from a distance. It is a okay. vampiric feast from a distance. I've got to have some kind of cover, right? Or what's up with this? Do no, I not get cover? Doesn't no, not this time. Us. All right. Oh, because it's a save. Yeah. Oh, now yes. <laughs> but I mean, that's what we need. Get out of here, disgusting, creepy hand. Okay. Zombie brute is gonna just wail at you with maybe fists. Fine. This is a hit. <laughs> For 17 bludgeoning, they hit hard. Yeah, that was a big hit. There's an athletics. Whoops. Actually, wait. I'll shield block that, I guess. Okay. Thinking about it, I feel like the zombie brood, if it does hit, will do more damage than the dude. Okay. okay. Uh, 23 is gonna push you away, which actually. <laughs> Makes you uh, beyond its reach. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah, that's kind of a nerf for these guys. And uh, lumbers up to. Okay. Uh, Isla. Okay. Let's see here. Um. I think I want to 
We're gonna drop a harm on the necromancer. Yep, and then last action, I'm going to get the blast a bit bigger. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, Mounted Warrior, that's next to Malachi, is going to just swing and see what happens. There's a hit. We're 10 slashing. Again. Misses and then raises shield. Sounds good. Malachi? Malachi's getting low health. I am getting low health. Um do I have to I would have to like drop my shield in order to grab a potion from my bag, or do I do I have to do that? also true um in that okay. case i will hope that my i will rely on my party to help me out and just try and kill this guy i'm hero pointing that that's not i'm not accepting a natural two yeah you are <laughs> oh okay that that first roll was the first roll okay okay this is a hit all right, that's better. Um, let me see if I can block that. Um, I think they choose not to block it. All right, sounds good. Um, I will make another attack against the the rider. Okay. That okay, I do nice. have to accept. I'm not going to use my last year point on that, and then I will. Uh, raise my shield again. Okay. All right, Necromancer is going to. Well. For this year. Thank you. Okay, Is the rider like just out of range? Because it's a line, right? It's a line. Does it hit the rider? Um, what? What is that? Fortitude. Ah, Lucier succeeds. You both succeed, and you're gonna take half of that uh, eleven void damage. Alright, so I've got one of these riders next to me now. Yeah. Is that correct? I think they used their reaction. They did. They attempted to, to stop me from making, casting my spell. Yeah, for okay. the animal. Okay. Um, and I'm still quite a distance away from Malachi. I think you're still the, the exact... And I haven't moved, so I think you're still 65 feet away. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, would I be able to get 
to Malachi with two or with uh, three strides. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think you have like a reactive strike, probably. Hmm. Okay. Actually, um, you could avoid it by taking a. You can avoid it. Oh yeah, he can, huh? I think I want to do this then. If I do two strides, I can do Doctor's Visitation to do Battle Medicine on him with one action to, to give me one extra stride to get to him. Yeah. Um, but that means that you're immune to my Battle Medicine for a day instead of an hour, which I don't like, but. That's that's I'm fine done. though. I need the health now, honestly. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and, and do. I'll do that. I'll do uh, two strides, avoiding provoking where I can, okay. and then do doctor's visitation to do a final stride and battle medicine on Malachi. Yeah. Our our party is pretty. We've we've got other ways to get healing too. So. Yeah. Um, and I am using assurance for that medicine check. So it's just the DC 15. All right, roll 2d8 for uh, healing. Malachi, you want to roll it? Yeah, I'll roll it. Okay, right. okay 11 health for Malachi. Awesome. Every bit helps. That is a <laughs> Get back to 30, not bad. All right. Um, horseman near Ethelric sees this is a problem. Gonna run up to Kyra and try to wail on her after raising its shield. This shield. Um, here comes the bastard sword. Her. After 17. Okay. Wow. Ethelric. Okay. That's less good. Um, so, first action, I will command, well, I will sustain my summon spell, which commands the Tyranidon. He is going to move 15 feet. Well, he's going to swoop. And in first 15, he's going to target the Necromancer with a strike. He's affected by the Bless. Oh and miss, get waste of my damn time. And we'll continue to move. So that was 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, move to there. That's random. Oh. Even though it's missing, it's nice to have. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, if I move to there, As I move there, I can do the single action. Yeah, we're going to move there. And I'm going to cast Lay on Hands on Isla. Spell. Lay on Hands. Spell effects. We're going to Lay on Hands healing. Defensive boost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heals that crit back plus one. Yeah. And that is one, two, three actions. Okay, Ernest. See yeah. if I wouldn't have missed out last week. <laughs> that was that was hard to watch. Um, <laughs> same target as before, but I'm just going to. I'm just going to attack uh, without because 
Okay, oh, stuff it set to private. Uh, shouldn't. Hold on. You should be able to oh, right click to reveal it, though. Yeah. All right. Okay, four damage. I think this so is I'm... a shield blocker. That uses his reaction. All right, um, I will attack again. Okay. Another four. Another four. <laughs> and, then, and then because I know zombies are easy to hit, I'll do the last one against the zombie. And still miss, so oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> well. Um, is going to do another touch spell against. Well, use this against uh, Rick. But there's incorporeal hand that's now going to try to poison Ethelric. Spider Sting. Ethelric. Make a fortitude save. This is less good. I'm going to attempt to use my um, unexpected shift. I can afford to be dead. Oh, Alright, well, I don't get the bonus then. Um, okay. Uh, that fails, and you are stage one. You are one d four poison, and you are feeble one. That's not that bad. Okay. Um, and I thought Rick doesn't um, mind being enfeebled. What else did I do? I got a shield. Next is Zombie's Root, which will attack Malachi. Bring it on. Hit. Ooh, it keeps rolling high on damage. Keeps rolling high on its attacks, too. Yeah. And whoop. I guess we'll attempt to do that now, push. Can it work? I would be pushed into Losir. Yeah, it does. Uh, but I think you have lesser cover now. Wait, your shield's raised. Okay. Attack number two. Miss. Okay, Isla's next, but give me a quick, quick fashion break. Okay. Yeah, this stupid rider over here has stayed alive way too long. <laughs> I need to kill him to get back over to where, like, lo like uh, Island. Yeah. You guys are thinking about coming your way just to give you bless, and then I could. I've got pretty okay health right now, so I feel like I could take the uh, reactive strike, and then. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably a good idea right now. Fight's gonna be a lot harder if the fighter goes down, so I think that'll be Isla's plan. Yeah, I would. I would love uh, if you could. If, it, yeah. if it's possible yeah. to break me off a two-action heal, that would. Set yeah, me I'm just uh, figuring out kind of where the best place to move would be. You'll see me get a shoebox. Megan. <laughs> oh, that's okay. so cute. Aww. Sweet kitty. Um, okay, yeah, so Isla is going to move right here. Wait, can I? Am I selecting? Oh, no, I'm not selecting. That's why. Go. Again. Here comes a Hold on. I need to think about 
where I'm going. Yeah, so I know I'm not gonna take that, but like as I was just saying, I think I'm so good. Another crit. A crit, another crit? Wow. Okay, I guess wow. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna look at dice stats. <laughs> Go. Yeah, I guess that's about as good as it's gonna be. Oh, I have the most rolled ones. Okay, then I'll take that damage. And... Let's try to do this the proper way. Sorry, guys. Let me heal. Heal versus lane. Roll him. And that's for Malachi. Nice. Feels very good. Excellent. I'll give you a point for that. Thank you. Putting yourself in the line of fire to... <laughs> yeah. Here comes another... Well... Razor shield. Oh, the shield is broken now. Oh. What? Stupid wooden shields that they have in this game sometimes. <laughs> Steel shields are hard to get in the realm of the Mammoth Lords. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, it's gonna command its horse to flank Malachi. If you want to use your reaction, Malachi, I think it has to be on the horse. Do you want to? Uh, oh, it has to be on the horse? No, I don't care that I'm about the anxious horse. Is that, do you, does anyone know, actually, whether... The horse is doing the move action. It is. So, and the, the reactive strike is to the move action. But they move together. It's like a special thing about that. Yeah, I think since they are kind of counted as being in, you know, occupying the same space, I, essentially, I, that you could aim it either way. I would, I, I would say so, in which case I don't think it wants to... Um, in which case we'll command it to step. <laughs> step once. Here we go. <laughs> I'm thinking about, you know, it doesn't make sense otherwise. Okay, this is not flanking you, however, and here's no, a shield. Oh, his shield is broken. Um, in which case, it is actually just gonna start up here, make attacks against him. Make an attack against him. Uh, that was a hoof attack. I did not mean that. That should have been from the Bastard Sword. So now it's a roll. That means that he's a hit. So it was a plus 14. Sorry. Sounds good. Miles was rolling. Here's the damage. 13. Don't mind. I'll take the. I'll take the damage. Um. Very loyal warrior. I think we'll make another attack. There's another hit. Oh my half. gosh. And then. With his um, multiple attack penalty. Step away. Well, step and then stride. Ah, oh, I'm seeing the benefits of mounted combat now. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Because I always thought, like, well, the other creature can't attack. That sucks. But it's, yeah, it's it, it gives you movement, you get a lot of mobility in return. Yeah. Uh, I think they want to. Well, there's a big bird there. Over here. Malachi. I am sick of this necromancer over here. So I'm going to take two actions to stride over to this necromancer. And whack at him with my axe. I this whole time. Oh, Testing, I'm still tracking test. Bone Warrior? The 28 should still hit though, right? Yes. I thought I had targeted the Necromancer. Okay. Mm, 10 damage. Alright, that's my turn. Okay, Necromancer does not like you is going to step here and cast 
Mirror image. Lucier. Alright. Um, how far away am I from Ethelric? Um, 55 feet. Okay, well then I don't think I'm going to try that this turn. Um, Alright, so the uh, I guess I'm going to put a Timber Sentinel next to Malachi and raise my shield. Or, no, I'm, I'm probably have to move to get to that uh, where I can put it next to him, aren't I? I think so. Uh, how far, like, can You're I 40 get feet from, from him? him? 40 feet from him? Yep. However, okay. yeah, you would need to move to place it next to him. Yeah, so um, I'll do one stride to where I can put a tree next to Malachi. Okay. All right. Any thoughts on where the tree should go, folks? Hmm. Um. Maybe, maybe. Um. I would say put it between Ethelric and Malachi, personally, okay. just right there. Yeah, that works. That works with me. All right. One, two, three. One, two. Okay. It needs to move here. Thirty foot range. Yep. Yeah. However, you are in the zombie brute's reach. Maybe here. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. Okay. Um. Well, the guy here sees Ethelric can be flanked, so it's going to do that. After raising shield, it's going to swing. That's a hit. Ten damage, Ethelric. Check. Check Protector tree. No, it's not. It's not. The Rick isn't. They're too far from each other. Oh, you, 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 I see. Oh, no. You put it between them, but not. Not. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, right. it's not adjacent right now, unfortunately. I got you. That's fine. Ethel. Hold on. Oh. I need to take the damage, not the terrain gone. Um, damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, now it's my turn. Okay, so I am going to use my first action to sustain the spell for the Pteranodon. He is going to move 15 feet there. Mm -hmm. He is going to strike the Bone Warrior and hopefully, hopefully hit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you haven't rolled higher than six with that thing? 15... 16, or 15, 20, right, 20, it's going to so swing 30, the Tranodon and roll an at one. Okay. My second... Oh, I am not in a good spot right now. Can I... Well, I don't, not to metagame, but you could... I would maybe try stepping. At least closer to the protector tree, you know? And that way, next time something comes after you, you have at least a chance of not getting hit. Yeah, we're going to take a five-foot step there. And with my final action... Oh, this is ugly. Um, do I have something for this? You know what? I'm going to cast Glass Shield on myself. Okay. I need the uh, defense. Ernest. Um, that one guy's been getting on everyone's nerves. So I am going to move over to here, and I think that ought to give me a clear shot on the Bone Warrior there. And In this case, I'll say yeah. I will attempt to recall knowledge. 
again. Uh, this time, uh, lowest save. I'm going. I'm going to assume will, but that's not just a success. A get. No, not a success. Okay, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter anyway. Wait a second. Am I supposed to do something about the enfeebled? Oh, yeah. Make a fortitude save. It's poison. Sorry, I didn't think about that. Um, sure. Fortitude. Okay. You're going to get the spell DC that fails. Um. It's. Oh, it's just. You've encountered this before. It's another D4, but it's enfeebled 2 now. I realize I should have used it against someone else. <laughs> <laughs> and so I damage. Uh huh. One poison damage. Okay. Uh, Ernest, what's your last action? Uh, I missed. I missed the strike. So. Oh, you missed. Okay, necromancer is going to. to roll above a ten. Ooh. What is this? Oh, that doesn't work. Um, mm. Well. Hey, good. All right, moves here and casts a spell on Ernest. Be afraid. Through the, through the cart? Yeah, it's a cage. If, if it's, if it's uh, fear, okay. yeah, if it's fear, they could see me and... So that's a will save? Yep. All right. Ernest has got this. Uh-oh. Or not. <laughs> the ghost gets frightened. Yeah, it happens. Okay. Zombie Brute wants to attack somebody. Goes up to Losir and uh, and makes a punch. That's a hit. Man, my dice rolls. Ten um, bludgeoning. I will apply it. And a push attempt that will push him five feet down. Hyla's next. Okay. Uh, give me just a sec here. So, okay. Are you going to do a what I'm thinking? Yeah, I think it's going to be worth it despite that stupid bone warrior who's about to get healed but at least I'm going to hurt his horse so three action heal it is alright by the power of Grace I'm Gold. The I am out <laughs> oh Staff of Healing's bonus applies to one target, if you target one thing, I think. Okay, so we just get nine? I'm checking. Uh, great question. I thought it was... A Staff of Healing grants an item bonus to the hit points you restore any time you cast the heal spell using your own spell No, spots. it's only the healing, not the damage, basically. Oh, okay, so the it is bonus healing. Yeah. Um... Okay, zombie and skeletal horse will make fortitude saves. Ah, skeletal horse will succeed, so that's going to become four vitality. Um, Ethelric, did you get your HP? I don't know which circle I'm supposed to be. Oh. Okay. I think you're so you're, you're in, 30 feet from me. I think you should yeah. have gotten it. Yeah, the necromancer actually is just outside of it, luckily. But yeah, that was why I was like, mm, I think I'm just going to do it. <laughs> the zombie fails and has weakness 10 to vitality. Nice. So it takes a bunch. 19. Okay, yeah. that's Isla. Uh, did someone heal the seer? 
Oh, I need to heal myself. Ha ha ha. I'll heal Lysir, I guess. Okay, yeah, Bone Lysir Warrior is going to uh, what go about up to that. Malachi. Okay, yeah, Bone yeah. Warrior get healed. Yeah, he was supposed to get healed, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Access denied. I'm the GM. <laughs> I'm trying to heal. Sorry, all rules are rules. What can we do? Like, who, who would deny him? Access denied. I <laughs> I can turn you off, mod. All right. Rides up to Isla. Makes the swing. That's a hit for 12 damage, and is gonna not raise their shield and swing again. This guy should have died like three rounds ago, but we just can't roll. <laughs> All right, okay. I down. think now he's uh, well, yeah, that was his turn. So Malachi, I got something. All right, I would yeah, love. Yeah, I feel like Malachi to... does scary crits, but we haven't seen that. Yeah, this fight has not gone well for. Critting. Because he used up all of his criticals at the beginning of the session. Yeah, he did. Exactly. <laughs> a billion natural 20s to start out. All right, I'm going to step next to this necromancer mm -hmm. and uh, hit them ah, badly, There's a nat apparently. one. Yep. Um, I don't really care about my shield right now, so I'll just hit him again. Ooh, that's a hit. Sure. Uh, let me, that um... would have crit. Just flip them. Let me see if it is a shield. I mean, a, an image. It is not an image. So it takes 15 damage. Ooh, they don't have a lot of hit points. Huh. Okay. Next is uh, the Necromancer. Mm. Drain bonded item. You're about to get vampiric feast, possibly. You have, a you have a response? Oh, the guy next to me is doing that? Yep. Oh, then I'm gonna uh, <laughs> slice the shit out of them. Okay, that might hit an image, though. It does hit an image. Damn. And here comes Vampiric Feast. Um... Plus. There we go, make a save. Me. Or you can make the save. There you go. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Vampiric Feast is a scary spell because of the death trait. Ooh, high damage. You take half of that. And... I have one. Okay, never mind. If I take half of that, then I'm fine. If I'd failed, I would have been left at one HP. Yeah. All right, and it takes seven temporary hit points. And then. Hmm. This is an intense... I think uh, we'll move up. Try to get some distance from you. We'll see her. Yeah. Alright, mm. so there's a zombie brute five feet away from me. Fifteen feet to the north of you. There's a mounted... The one that, the one that pushed me? Kill the rider. We need the rider's gun. These guys suck so bad. Yeah. There's the a rider ten feet from, from, feet from a rider who's right next to me. How far away am I from that rider? Ten, ten feet. Ten feet. Um. All right, I will go ahead and move over to try to get flanking if I can. Um, I'm going to do the movement, and I will say yes. However, I think it has a reaction against you. Will you... If you do it in one stride, do you want to do that? Uh, who does, the rider or the zombie? The zombie, the zombie reaction. It has to be the rider, yeah, it has to be the rider. So, um... Yeah, I'll take the chance. Okay. So, no shield raised. You're gonna... Okay, here, here comes an attack. Mm. 
Protection Every protected you. Protection. Uh, oh, you shouldn't have protection. Sorry. Oh. That expired. Oh damn. Oh, it's well, stuck it to hits. you. Okay. Well, that's a hit then. Yeah, that's from like last fight. Seven yeah, damage to Lucier. Nah, yeah. It's fine. And uh, this thing's now off guard. I'll, I'll apply the damage. Okay. Good. End this fool. <laughs> All right, um, I will do, so this is a, he's a human, or he's a living creature, right? Not yeah. a undead? Yeah. Okay. I'm annoyed. Um, I'll do a two action melee, uh, uh, I guess I'll go with bludgeoning. Yep. Yes. Will someone yeah. don't want to roll? Me. Yeah. <laughs> it's awkward when I say oh, something. The wrong. There's a hit. Thing with it. Thank God. Yay! Hey, you rolled above a ten. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? When you roll above ten, you actually hit sometimes. Okay. Yay. I think I accidentally did fire. My bad. It... Well, it should have been a two-action one too, right? He gets his. Oh yeah, wait. It Plus added damage it, it, to it. Yeah. It should have my roll. Strength and my it should be the same amount of damage, it. right? I'm not. I'm no, not we'll do more damage. damage yeah. different. Oh, we'll do more damage. Cause... And it's two action and it's melee, so it's a lot more damage. Yeah. Strength oh, damage. right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, so two action of the wood. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me put that in. <laughs> Is, there's this whole fancy, I... like, 50 what choices under <laughs> strike for the kineticist. Oh, yeah. okay. Here, I can and just you roll want to toggle. That, Oh, okay. Um, it's not the two action. I don't know. I don't I'm, I'm going to use that one. roll and no, add... I think two action adds constitution, right? Yeah, and add and, constitution. Yeah, so and it's 17 damage. Yeah. And 17 is just enough. The rider falls Thanks. after being blocked um, by a block of wood. Um, if you're using the token <laughs> action HUD, there's a toggle between one action and two actions. And there's a toggle okay. between bludgeoning and vitality. <laughs> Oh, I see it. Yeah, yep. there's a lot okay. going on. Got it. Got, yeah, that's uh. All right, let's see here. Right. Kind of right. Just, right? <laughs> there is a there's a that's kill. The yeah. Uh, next is this horseman. Hmm. Well, they know that tree is there, and they know Isla's a cleric. So, I well, who are they gonna go for? Uh, random roll. Gonna roll. Gonna gallop to flank Isla. And that was one action. Does this guy have a horse still shield? threatening? Yeah, the horse is not destroyed. It's a. It's still a thing. Okay. But um, it had to be commanded before, so it probably won't do anything. Well, the way mounted combat works is that the, the mount just has no actions. But now that While is not. But now that it's not a mount, it might. It acts normally now. Oh, which means it's going to probably enter the initiative next turn. Hold on. Okay. Um, one attack against Isla. That's a hit. Eight slashing damage. Ethelric. Okay, that um makes things interesting. Um I'm gonna use my first action to sustain the spell. The Tyranodon is going to swoop. Mm-hmm. And I need to actually select and we're gonna target the zombie brute by moving 25 feet here. Make the strike. Please have low AC. Thank you. Yay! Pteranodon gets a poke. <laughs> Who are you aiming at? The zombie brute. Oh, okay. I didn't. Okay, let me make my reactive strike against the Pteranodon meanwhile. <laughs> okay, that. Alright, Pteranodon takes 12 damage, but. Yeah. Pteranodon gets a pokey. Yay! Alright, you... 
All right, you pluck out its tongue. 25, 30, 35, 40. We're going to move there. Uh Uh-huh. And... Did the... Oh, did I do the damage against myself? Oh, no, wait, it's the same da- same amount of damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the zombie brute took that? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And hopefully the Pteranodon can draw the zombie brute away and give us one less thing to worry about for a bit. Hopefully. That, that is... Yeah, I find that's, like, one of the most valuable uses of summons. Because <laughs> it is... It is a close to, <laughs> It's the closest living thing to it. So. And... I am going to That's then... That's worth a video, by the way, because a lot of people hate summons and think they're worthless. I'm going to cast the two-action spell of a third-level heal on yeah. Malachi. Nice, thank you. I, I very much appreciate it. And heal versus living. Mm-hmm. Healing. Wow. That's for you, Mr. Healthy. Malachi. 40 big ones, I'll take it. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. And that's my action, or that, that's my turn. All right. This horse. Wait, poison. Yeah, yeah, poison. Tributes, fortitude, roll. All right, you Ooh. stay at stage two. That's the maximum stage. You take four poison. All right, the skeletal horse is going to attack Lucier. Here comes a hoof. It's pretty weak. <laughs> Plus, yeah, I was gonna say uh, the rider is more yeah. of an, an annoyance than the horses probably are. Ernest, scared Ernest. Uh, yeah, I'm going to um, the necromancer to the north of every uh, not not north of the rhinos, the one that's very damaged. Yeah. yeah, the one off to our left over there. Yeah, I'm going to try to recall knowledge. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, let's see. All right, no pain. Um, you succeed. Okay. Nice. I, I assume will save is highest. Uh, you're asking there. what its highest save is? Yeah, highest save. Um, What you were told is will. Yeah. Ooh, that is a hit. Right. Does it hit a mirror image? Oh, wait, okay. I'm very sorry, but you were frightened too, so I think... Did, not, did it not calculate? It calculated it did. Yeah, but recall knowledge was not successful. That's what happened. Oh. Would you have tried again? Not on the recall knowledge, no. Okay. Well, fortunately, you might just be thinking an image anyway. <laughs> so, let's, let's see. Oh, you don't hit an image. Oh, okay. Hey. Send the... Okay, here Hold comes on. some damage. Yeah, one second. Kill him. Looks like I might be able to just add... Yeah, I can just add it in in the um Oh, oh okay. But uh, minus Right. Sorry. That, that's okay. It's seven a, damage. It, so seven, yeah. Ah. Okay. Uh, Very weak. I will try one more time. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of embarrassed that combat started because of him. Uh, he kind of lost control there. Well, these guys need to be put down. I don't think anything could have that. Yeah, yeah, true, but... That's another hit. Well, possible hit. Let me see. Yeah, it's This hits an image. Okay, so another image gone. All right. Okay, Necromancer. Um... Well... going to I think there's you'll have you have cover bonus against each other. Mm-hmm. Here comes an electric arc against Ernest. 
No, actually. Okay. No, it's gonna do chill touch because that's this uh, ghostly hand thing. So make a fortitude save. Okay. Whoa, why does it. Explain, is it really that. It is that low, holy crap. Oh, wait, I should only be frightened one now. Yeah. Okay, well, that makes it slightly better. It's a plus Your six. Fortitude my fortitude. Saves bad. <laughs> it is, yes, it is very bad. All right. He shouldn't um, take damage. He's not a dead creature. It should make uh, him for a round. Yeah, it'll, it'll, take me, it'll make me off guard for one round. This spell has been replaced in the remaster. Um, uh, yes. Remaster. Hold on. Let me see. Um, chill touch is now void warp. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think it affects undead at all anymore. Right. So it's four d four actually. Okay. 14 damage to to Ernest. Well, uh, but, but if it's Void Warp, it doesn't do any damage to me. Oh, it only you're freaking undead! Why was I doing this? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's stupid. And I'd, I'd, assume, I'd assume the Necromancer would know that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you're pretty, bad, pretty bad Necromancer if they don't. Yeah, know. yeah. One of the worst um, Necromancers out there. Well, I've already done a take back C, so I kind of don't want to take back this. All right. Right. He had a moment of like, he like he like did that and he like he forgot the first and lesson in Necromancy <laughs> class, dude. All right, okay, Loser. Zombie Brute is gonna beat up on a Pteranodon. <laughs> I thought they were just a blue Rock. human. This is the most interesting <laughs> part of the fight for me. All I want to know about is knowledge on Ernest. <laughs> All I care about is this dinosaur fighting this giant zombie. This rocks. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this is awesome. Nine bludgeoning, yeah. Okay, Tyrandon gets beaten up, gets uh, bumped on the beak. Oh, me. Oh, no. And it gets pushed back five feet, and it's, it's gonna lumber towards a Tyrannodon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like mindless monsters, they're funny. Okay, Isla. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, hold on. Oh. You're in well, danger. Oh. You're in danger, I girl. Am I'm in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> exactly. Um, maybe just step back and run away somewhere. Like, yeah. Like, I think I'm thinking about. Uh, that's not a bad one. And I. Yeah, I'm gonna step here. Whoop, if it's, um, uh, got the wrong controls try, on. Again. Can you try and get next to the tree? That would be huge for you, actually. Mmm, that would be good for me. Uh, I, unfortunately, I think that's gonna involve taking that reactive strike. You can and step, right, you can, and you can step back and go around the horse. Go oh, around true. Back way. Yeah, okay, so step here. And then, uh, grr. I think I can do that. Let me see if that, there's enough. I think that might be all of my actions. Well, let me see. 15, uh, it's 20, better than 30. Hit, I, just okay, I think I, so, I think I I think I can use 30 feet to get here if I go. Like, That's uh, two actions. That was two actions? I don't think it should have been. Oh, wait, cause... one action. You have a 30 foot speed? I have 30 foot speed, yeah. Okay, but were you so... going to step first or no? What'd you say, Ronald? Sorry. Were you going to step first? I already did step, and then 30 feet oh, more as to walk around the horse and through low here to get to the tree, basically. <laughs> so you have one action uh, left. So I have one action left. I think I'm going to give myself my. With a one action heal here. Ah, yeah. This sure. is my rank two one. So. I was practicing self care. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Healing. And I'll take that. Okay. Okay. That'll be my turn. Malachi. 
All right. This uh, necromancer here made a mistake because they are within my movement speed. <laughs> Which means that I'm going to oh. stride up to them. And uh, hit him with my axe. All right. Um, hold on. Let's see if I... There's one image left. You hit the image. That's fine, because I have one other attack. Mm -hmm. And I don't think these guys' AC is that high. But I do miss with a natural... What is that? Natural four? Oh, he, you know what? I want this guy dead so bad, I'm going to lose my last hero point on this. Okay. Good. Hopefully. That's a hit! Woo! Woo! Destroy him. 15! He... With a cry. <laughs> he silenced him. Whew, all right. Okay, Lucier. All right, what's left? Um, there is a skeletal horse right next to you. There is a mounted horse 20 feet south of you. Zombie brute 30 feet east of you. Sorry about the brute right now, though, because it's kind the, of engaged with the yeah, terrain. The, um, who is mounted on the skeletal horse? You said 20 feet away? Yeah, a rider. There's one more rider left. The um, bone oh, okay. warrior. Is there, is there anyone else that you to or near it? No. Okay, so it's all by itself? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to scorching column. The, uh, yeah. the rubber and his horse. Nice. Wait, am I wrong? But flying flame, can't you? I don't have flying flame. Oh, okay. That was a, another character, I guess. He's scorching that was Tom. Ben. Yeah, Ben had. Oh, yeah, flying ben, ben Tennyson. <laughs> yep. All right. You overflow and um, create the scorching column. Um, this is a uh, 2d6 fire, is that right? Uh, I believe so. Okay, five fire damage, and they're gonna make reflex saves. Ooh, they both save. Um, the skeleton's gonna resist it all. Okay. Yeah. And where would he position it, you guys? Or maybe here? The horse is large, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you want you want to place it oh, so yeah. that they have to move into it to try if, and like. If it's completely in the horse's space, then I think they. Oh, they have to. Yeah. Yeah. They get harmed. Yep. Good. Yeah. I put it in its space. Yep. Okay. Bone Warrior is going. Did not like that, and is going to um, ride out towards towards Lucier. However, they're both... What is what is it? Six? No, no. Four fire damage? Uh, yeah, so the horse is going to ignore it. But what's the total? Uh, I, think, I think it's half my level. Okay. Three fire damage? Okay. Yeah, that's what it says there. Yeah, right. the horse doesn't care. Oh, man, this is also kind of badass. A, a rider on a skeletal horse galloping through a column of flames. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just needs to be holding its its head. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here all right, here's a flank the seer. And it has two actions left. It's gonna raise its shield and swing sword and miss miss the seer. Nice finally. Been forever since I've like passed up an attack. <laughs> Last shield is expended. How many rounds has this been? Round seven yeah, after that time. Not as long as our Drake fight quite yet. Yeah, but... yeah not yet. It's getting there. <laughs> but the, this battle's starting to go our way, so. I'm going to sustain my spell giving my tranadon instructions to swoop yeah. again mm -hmm. we're going to I, 
Now, let me let me get this straight. So with Swoop, it says, let me go to the actual thing. It says, the Pteranodon flies up to its speed and makes one beak strike at any point during that movement. Mm-hmm. Can that beak be at the point of moving? So he doesn't have to move first? Or do I have to move I and think you then do it at the beginning? Sure. Um, so he's going to make a strike against the zombie brute because yes. that's the only thing I seem to actually hit. <laughs> ah. Critical hit! <laughs> Alright. Alright, the beak goes down the throat and pulls out at the esophagus. 24! Yeah. And then we're going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. You don't, do you have to move your entire speed or do you have to move up to your speed? I would say. But, I would, yeah, well, stay there. Keep this zombie brute just attacking this pteranodon. Yeah, I'm hoping to pull him this way. But he's going to go after Ernest if you go too far away. I mean, I did just. Oh, yeah, you got a point there. I'm going to move him. Because this thing's not strategizing, it's just going after what's closest. If it if it goes after me, that's fine. I mean, I'm gonna move him yeah, there. But it's one less thing for you to worry about. When it hits, it still does a decent amount of damage. Mm. I have you at a higher elevation now, um, Tyrannodon. Okay. <laughs> and then. Oh, sorry, you're not done. Go ahead. Well, yeah, I've got two actions left. Um, interesting. Oh, Losir's good on hit points. Isla needs some. I will use... Now it's Aethelric's turn. He's going to use a... second level two action heal on Isla. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That is a correct turn. Uh-huh. <laughs> the animation was on. I'll, I'll get that actually. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Heal that zombie. Skeletal horse will attack with seer. There's a hit. Eight damage from a hoof. Second oh. attack misses. I'll give him the damage. Thank you. Ernest. Uh, Ernest is going to... Um, move. God, that's five. That's 20. He's going to move to here, because this uh, necromancer looks like they're missing out on all the fun. <laughs> and is going to try to recall knowledge on this neck. All right. You're frightened one. Ooh, not a success. Hmm. Okay, not a problem. Let's just see if I hit. I wonder if my rolls are lower when I do it with this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you given it the salt test? <laughs> no. And that is a no. All right. All right. Uh, this roll is my fortitude save for the poison. Oh, gotcha. Ah, it is completely gone. Nice. All right. The necromancer looks at you, or actually, necromancers. There are four images of it, and they are collect. They are now undoing the the rope on this the skeletal rhino. Hey, stop that! Stop. Took three actions. So that is it is now a free rhino. And when I read this encounter, I was like, damn. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Zombie fruit. <laughs> is going to attack the Pteranodon. Kind of doing their, doing their own thing. Yeah, they're having, um... You know, they need to get a room. Okay, Isla. <laughs> um... Interesting. Let's see. Can I oh, hold on? What? Oh, I'm gonna look at 
this, this math here. Okay, I'm electric arcing the rider and horse. Mm hmm. Okay, they're gonna, they're gonna dodge this. Okay. Okay. Um, the rider we'll takes half the damage, course. the other one will take double. So 16 minus 5, 11. Ah! Back to the. You have compromised its structure. Much, much weaker skeletal horse. Nice. Okay, and then. Final action. I didn't think about that. I think I'll probably just cast shield on myself. Somebody slept on the job making these uh, this particular stat block. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Blatant errors all over the place. Yeah, and this happened earlier in the module also. They basically gave them um, hit points for a regular creature, not taking into account that they're a skeleton with resistances up the wazoo. Oh, um, yeah. Hmm. Uh huh. Oh, apparently, apparently they don't adjust it. Okay, I guess they assume you're gonna bypass its resistance. Okay, I guess it's correct. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Is your, yeah, that's Isla's turn. That was Isla's turn, yeah. Okay, Malachi. All right, I am not... I would rather save the Necromancer for last and just get out of range of its spells, so I'm going to come down here. Uh, uh, if Right here, I should be able to hit the rider and horse, right? Uh, yes. You could even probably flank it if you moved... A little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then came down, basically. The rider will yeah, have yeah, yeah. less recover against you. Because the rider does? Yeah, mounted combat. That's fine. That's, that's what how it's I treat it when the, with melee if you're right next to them. If you're medium. Mm -hmm. But it's explicitly written. It's up to the GM. Yeah, but, it, but it's had, like, the other rider I was fighting was the same way, right? I think so. Yeah, okay. um, yeah so that's fine. I think their shield is raised anyway, so. It doesn't yeah, it doesn't right attack with that. So we're... All right, I'm going to hit this rider. Woohoo! Nice. What's that? that hit only What's that animation? <laughs> Got these glowing eyes. Okay, 12 damage. Um, Does this guy have a working shield? He does, but that will break the shield. Okay, takes it, takes it. And I'll uh, go one more time. Ooh, now oh, 20! There's that big crit. Kill him. Kill him, Malachi. No! Do it. Do it. Did it roll? No, I didn't see Not it. Not the damage. Got it okay, 17. There it is. Yeah, below average. It's a low roll, but whatever. Okay. That should also hit the horse, shouldn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, that does the horse. Critical My specialization. Special specialization finally is useful. Yes. <laughs> um, equal to the result of the weapon damage die you rolled. Oh, this assumes that we don't roll double dice. So, um, we're just gonna read the first two d eights then. So six. Wait. Hmm? The way it reads is that it assumes you double. You don't roll. Oh double yeah, dice. this amount isn't doubled. Okay. Yeah. So two, your first two d8 totals six, and that's slashing damage, and it resists five of that. So yeah, oh, well, takes one damage. One, damage. It was so, cool. one point, one point of HP for my crit specialization effect. We're gonna get that number <laughs> up there. You're bitter. Every hit point no, matters. It's fine. I don't mind. It, I, I like, I like my axe. I, I have one uh -huh. of it. So. Ooh, there should be an, a mod that says every hit point matters too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you kill something by one. <laughs> yeah. So if we kill that by an exact number at some point, <laughs> then we'll know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's your turn, right? Yep. Lucier. You are flanked by skeletal horses, and one of them has a rider. Lucier. Uh, I'm going to activate my aura and do a melee strike on the horse with the rider on. Okay. And I also think that it can, make, it can do a reactive strike against you, but you want to attack the rider? That's 
No, I'm attacking the one with the horse. Ah, I see. Yeah, hit that horse with some bludgeoning damage. I'm gonna hit it with vitality because it's undead. That works too. But yeah. yeah, either one works. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh. But he's gonna flanked. hit me first. So we'll see what happens. Okay. I wonder what happens to a rider when their mount dies. Hey, uh, let's hear. Is that a two action melee? No, right? it's, one, it's the one free action. one that comes with activating the aura. Oh, right, right. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. And vitality. Sorry, hold on here. Vitality, one action, melee. And it's a melee. Yes. Oh, wow. Every time I move my mouse incorrectly, it all goes away. Sorry. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> The whole Ooh, sure thing. There it goes. There it goes. Here comes the crits. 17. Boom. 22. That one. Skeletal horse gets destroyed. And I'm coming up with a house rule right now. I'm going to do a take nature a little check. Bit of fall damage. <laughs> a nature no, check. Probably not. On, At least fall prone. Or... To, on whether it falls probably, prone yeah, pro. versus your class DC. Oh, yeah. Okay. Succeeds, so he lands on his feet in a random square. One, two, three, four. Reading order lands right here. Unhappy. Um, you have two more actions, Lucier. It is next yeah, to you. And you're not flanked anymore. Okay. But you're um, next to the guy. But did he did he use the reactive strike on me already? He had didn't have occasion. Oh, uh, that I'm pretty sure activating my aura is mani uh, manipulate. Oh, that's that's why I was asking about it because uh, I think uh, either the aura or the impulse has the manipulate the break. Channel elements. It does not. It just um, it doesn't. Is it? Is it concentrate then? I know that it has one or the other. Uh, I don't think. So. So, or well, well, if you do a blast or impulse with it, then um, yeah. it would it would have concentrate, but you know that doesn't provoke. Concentrate, yeah. okay. That does okay. Um, I have two actions left, so I'm going to summon a protector tree next to myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, where do you guys think it should go? Yeah, probably right there between okay. yeah, yeah. Right right between them and I, just to give a maximum. Okay. Coverage. Yep. Okay, Bone Warrior does not like So this. the other tree becomes a, becomes a real tree. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, the other ones do. Or do they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. normal trees. If the, the environment can support having a tree there. All right. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, it'll become a normal tree. It'll, it'll just probably die within a couple hours or something. One. <laughs> I think, I think you're just putting too many trees like right way close to each other. They're just not going to be able to grow very much. <laughs> I think this guy moves here, gives a whack against the bird. Wait, the no, bird's no, hold on. Yeah, it gives a whack against the bird. But the bird is, is it in its Oh, range? wait, it's too high in the air. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. All right, it's kind of retreating at the moment and raising his shield. Um, Ethelric. <laughs> oh, great. Um, Round eight. It's the same <laughs> spell. Tradadon will target the zombie brute with the swoop and the strike and miss. Aww. And he will move to the other side of the zombie brute. <laughs> it's like the movie The Birds, just flapping around it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you've got like King Kong swatting at the airplanes is what's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here. So it looks like combat is moving up towards the north. So I'm mm -hmm. going to move 25 feet there and I'm going to cast... Okay, come on. We're going to cast Lay on Hand on myself. Okay. Healing... We're going to target myself. Target. 
roll healing, automatic 18, apply healing. And that is my turn. Okay, skeletal horse is gonna attack mm -hmm. Lassier. All right, Lassier is dodging the hoofs. Ernest. Uh, Ernest is going to take a chance on something here and is going to say in Necrol to the Rhinoceros that was just released, hoping that they just follow orders. Don't listen to the two people right next to you and kill them. Hmm. Well, I, I need to tell you that there are feats for, like, commanding mindless undead that... Hmm. That's, uh... You can gently suggest it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well... So I don't want you to feel bad if it when I say it doesn't work. <laughs> so you you don't have to try I was hoping they just follow the instructions of whatever anyone tells them in Necrol. But... Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is it makes more sense that they follow the where, orders like, of whoever either created them or whoever they were ordered to anyway. Yeah. It's unfortunately yeah. one of those situations where the existence of the feat negates improvising it. Yeah. Um... Eh, nonetheless, uh, I am going to uh, recall knowledge about the Necromancer again. Wait, actually... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, recall knowledge? Yeah. <laughs> Bad roll. Nat 3. I'll, I'll stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you sure you want to... You can try it again. I allow repeats. I know. Or we can plink away yeah, with sure. the images. I'll, it's up to I'll you. go ahead and I'll I'll go ahead and do it again. I mean, to be fair, it's got mirror image up anyway. But I guess if you do hit, you want the extra damage. Well, he so. declared, and he is yeah. succeeding. Is this a critical success? Nice. Now it's off guard. Uh, no, a regular nice. success, but he's off guard too. Okay. Yeah, um, question. Ah. Uh. I mean, we've seen most of the spells that they've been able to do. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any specific questions. Just give me an interesting fact. Okay. <laughs> interesting fact. Well, um... It's wearing black underwear. <laughs> he went to bed until he was 13 years old. <laughs> yeah, this, this person seems to have a... Um, seems to be the undead rhino whisperer and whispers some <laughs> things in its, <laughs> in its ear hole. I don't like it. Ah. No. Okay. 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 All right. Well, Necromancer is now moving over here. I wonder what they're going to do. Stop them. All right. Spends two actions untying this one, but um, that's it. Um, zombie Brute. Zombie versus Pteranodon continues. Eight damage to the Pteranodon. And a possible shove here. Pteranodon gets shoved. And attack number two is another hit. That's a total of 18 damage. Ooh, dead. Aww, it goes back to its, you know, some demi plane wherever some of the animals come from. That's okay, it frees up an action for <laughs> break. He's like, done his job. Oh my god, made. cold blooded. Damn. You don't care about his feelings. All right, pilot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um or strikes it was not taking against us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Brutal. Okay, Isla. Yeah. So let's see here. Um Okay. There's mm -hmm. not too much. 
Okay, so I think I'm going to cast um, spiritual armament. Ah, um, that spell. Yes. And uh, hold on, let me read this real quick. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna attack the the horse. No, you know what? It's with it's 120 feet, so I'm gonna attack the necromancer. Okay, and you can to, to re-aim it every turn. Yeah, exactly. As I uh, um, so I think I need a roll. Choose what damage type now. Oh, it just deals the damage now, right? Okay, cool. We'll make sure I can do that. Oh, curse you! Curse you! It is inevitable betrayal. Yeah. Not letting me target the necromancer right now, unfortunately. Oh. But we're we're just gonna do bludgeoning because it's uh, nice. Staff. Uh, and right, just does the damage right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, gotta do an attack roll. Oh, sorry, my bad. Did I misread that again entirely? Okay, no worries. Sorry about that. And that's a regular hit, and it. Hits an image. Okay. Okay. Um, and then last action, I'll cast shield. Okay. The smoke comes out of the skeletal rhino's nostrils. <laughs> and it's going to charge Smoking at... Smoking is not good for your health. Huh? Smoking is not good for your health. It's running up. <laughs> Silently, actually. But the sound of its hooves is thundering. And Rhinoceros is going to make a horn strike against Ethelric. Hits with a massive force and was using its Rhinoceros charge action. Does extra damage. Oh, ow! Oh my god, that's like ungodly dice a dice roll I just did. I'm going to use <laughs> unexpected shift. Please, uh, please. Oh, I, yeah. It succeeded! <laughs> oh wait. I gain, I gain resistance to all damage. Oh my god, that evil. saved you from being knocked oh out. <laughs> five Um I get five uh, resistance five. Uh-huh. So and that's dazzle um, for a round. Yeah. And then anything that, uh, oh, uh, um, I gain a plus two circumstance bonus to saving throws against that effect. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it matters right now. You need to do a reflex save to not be shoved okay. back and prone. That's funny. It's okay. a reflex. It should be a, well, it makes sense, I guess. So, so you get plus two on this check. Reflex plus two on. Nice! All right, you stood up against a rhino. And I take 34 damage? Yeah. However, you might still be knocked out, because it has another action. Let's see. Wait, it moved? Did it move at least 20 feet? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, um, what's its other... Here comes a foot attack. Wait, no reason not to use its horn. Ooh, that's a miss! Wow, Ethelric, you nice. stood up against a bull charge. <laughs> okay, Malachi. All right. Time to kill some more necromancers. <laughs> Step right over here, or stride right over here. Mm -hmm. And... Take a swing. That's a hit, but let me roll. So that's an image. There's da it's one image left. Sounds good. Let's get rid of another one with another attack. Hit. Uh, that is not an image. Sounds good. Ooh, that's max a big damage. Roll. Max damage, yeah, max damage this time. Okay, Lassier. Yeah. Alright, so I still have this rider next to me, right? Just the horse. 
Oh, just the horse? Yep. Yeah, the rider fled. We might want to kill that before he gets back to the tower. Well, he's not like fleeing, fleeing. He's. He, yeah, we, oh, there's a he's tactical retreat more. It doesn't. He, his back's not turned. Yeah. How far away is the rider from me? Fifty. Uh, um, and how far away is Ethelric with the rhino? Ethelric is twenty feet away. Twenty feet away. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Doctor's Visitation to move over and battle medicine Ethelric. Mm-hmm. Using assurance medicine, so 2d8. Okay. I will roll. Okay, nine health to Ethelric. All right, and then I'm going to use uh, two actions to put a timber cell next to uh, myself and Ethelric. Okay. I'm so, sure the rhino is probably going to move off, but just in case. I'm going to let the everyone own the tree so you can all put it where you want. I'm thinking here? Yeah. As long as it's next to both of us, I'm good. Yeah. Wherever you yeah. want to put it. That works. All right. Kawabunga says this uh, bone warrior who runs forward to try to protect the mallet, uh, the necromancer. Um, Ronald, I I'm not going to tell you how to run your characters, but wouldn't he try to get on the other horse? Uh, it's too far away from it. Yeah, he's oh, like okay. way on the other that side. That horse of the... didn't follow it, so. Okay, oh, raises gotcha. his shield. And it goes for Malachi. It would flank Malachi, but Malachi can yeah. That's a miss! Awesome! Alright, we're at our time, and we're in the middle of a mega battle. <laughs> and that's something. It's, uh... Yeah. This is a tough fight. I'm just to type some notes and one more uh, interact. Are we getting a uh, level six thread? Yes, I'm going to start a level six threat because I think you will level up sometime during the next session. Yeah. Okay. We're at we're 220 experience away, so. Yes, and this fight is more than 120. Nice. <laughs> okay. Did we move too quickly. <laughs> oh, like going to level six territory. No, yeah. no, it's just that. Well, that's always that's always the risk of uh, <laughs> open adventure like this, isn't it? I uh, actually, my attitude is to scale things like, or I don't know. I actually don't know what my policy would be. But this was not written to be a level six area. I think the person oh, just okay. kind of went kind of crazy and got enthusiastic. <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> um. But it did say it takes time to untie these things, so I think that's the... And only if the fight goes south for them. Okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, where was this? Someone's gonna say something? Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's our session. We will continue. When's our next session? Two weeks from now? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I um, turned. I, it's my birthday tomorrow. Watch my oh, live yeah, stream. Happy birthday, <laughs> Ronald. Yeah, you got your Sunday stream tomorrow. My smutty right? live stream. Yeah. I'll try okay. to tune into that. I might be busy, but <laughs> anyway, happy birthday for sure. Right, See thanks. you soon. See you later. See you.